Exciting news across from our friends at Manscaped. Just launched their fourth generation performance package. This ultimate package includes the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, the 4.0. Manscaped leaders in male grooming have done it again to make your grooming game next level. Join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with the new performance package 4.0 by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code SLOB20. That's 20% 20% off, plus free shipping with the code SLOB20. Uh, let me tell you guys real quick before we start this episode. Uh, shout out to Manscaped for um, giving me a chance with this and sending me things. Like, it's it's really cool when you've gotten to the point where, like, companies are like, yo, like, we like what you're doing. Hit us up and, uh, you know, we'll send you some stuff. Share it and, uh, you know, get people to buy it. I like that. That's cool. You know, use me. You know, I'm, I'm used to getting used in life. So why not? Use me, Manscaped. Let's go, baby. I'm going to get a Manscaped tattoo across my forehead. Um, but no, honestly, guys, Manscaped is legit. I love it. Um, I'm very glad that they were one of my first sponsors as far as, like, sending me product and stuff. Just for the fact that, like, I feel like I manifested it. I always talked about how I this was def- – I always said Manscaped was a company I wanted. Not, like, I want, like, someone that does, like, trimmers and grooming and stuff. Specifically Manscaped. So thank you, Manscaped. Um, but no, they're – honestly, they're awesome. I use their products literally every day. Um – I use the chapstick. I, I keep it right here because I'm, I lose these all the time. So I, I keep it in here. That way I know where it's at. Uh, love, love, love the chapstick. I'm a big chapstick guy for some reason. My juicy ass lips, the ones up here, um, they uh, they tend to get very chapped and dry recently. I don't know why. Maybe because of the weather. I don't know. But I got the 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 the, the, the lip balm. Um, they have the they have the ball wipes which I use. Those are a nice little refresher to get those in there. You know, maybe you're on a hot date, pull them out of your back pocket. They're very slim, very sleek. Put pull them out of your back pocket. You know, rub one out as far as like rub out all the dirty stuff in your balls and stuff. Clean it up down there. You never know what's gonna happen that night. You know, uh, we got the 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 lawnmower 4.0 which is obviously my favorite that the main thing that everyone should have before they get anything else uh i use it to trim my facial hair it has different clips on it i can do different sizes that way i can just make everything even you know i ain't no barber i ain't certified or nothing but when i get that 4.0 in my hand i fucking feel like i'm just like just slicing and dicing all the hairs that get out in the way um i got the uh I got the the weed whacker. That shit, it's perfect because I had been wanting one for so long. For some reason, I don't know if I, my hairs are aging faster than I am, but uh, my nose hairs were like would stick out and it'd be very annoying. I'd see them, and I know people when they talk to me, they probably see them, but they were too nice. They didn't want to tell me anything, so I just had these hairs sticking out of my nose like a fucking old fuck. And uh, but I got this uh, weed whacker. Get in there. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And uh, get up in there, clean all the hairs out. You could breathe better. Uh, I would say it helps me with my cardio. I can breathe a lot fresher. Less boogers tend to be up in there, so that's always nice, you know. Um, and there's so many more products out there. There's shampoo. There's body wash. Uh, they just came out with new uh, items. Go check them out. But um, like I said, guys, Manscaped, thank you guys once again for sponsoring the show. Uh, once again, all you guys, if you're listening, go to Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping. Uh, use the code SLOB20. It's slob two zero. Uh, you'll get 20% off anything in, in online and uh, ships to you for free. So you're welcome. The more you guys use it, the more I continue to stay with Manscaped. So when you guys help me, it helps me help Manscaped. So help me help Manscaped and Manscaped help, helps me help you guys have fresh balls and, and no hair in your nose and your lips stay uh, juicy all the time and they don't dry out. So once again, uh, that's 20% off plus your shipping with code slob20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code slob20 at manscaped.com. Your balls have been through enough this past year. I've been through enough this past few hours because work and just traffic, so much shit is going on. But you know what? As soon as I got home, I was like, I got fucking manscaped. You know, if my balls did shave them up, um, if my facial hair is out of, out of whack, you know, trim it up, all that stuff. Uh, you know, this year, at least treat your balls right. Treat them with the best tools for the job with Manscaped. Once again, it's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Use promo code SLOB20. And uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Manscaped. All right, it's 10 o'clock. Very less. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my podcast, Slob on the Pod, episode 58. I'm here with uh, Alan Reyes. And Cesar Partida. What's up, boys? What's good, bro? How you doing? 
Thanks for coming out. Thank you for having us, bro. Uh, obviously, we've had Caesar on before, um, but we had to bring him back because he had a friend yes, that, um, as you guys all know, uh, on Instagram, what is it? The Alan NFT guy? Alan the NFT guy. Alan, yeah. See, now it's Alan Alan. What is it, man? <laughs> it's Alan. <laughs> oh, so like Alan's Alan. on Instagram for the white girls and Alan in real life. <laughs> for real, bro. Do, do I always tell people, like, it depends on how you're talking to me. I don't know. Like, if you're talking in Spanish, it's Alan. Alan it's yeah. Alan, like A-L-A-N. But, I mean, I don't, like, tell people, like, Alan. The beaner way is Alan. Yeah, like, yeah. whatever. If you're talking in Spanish, it's like Alan. If you're talking in English, like, Alan. Yeah, you know, I feel that. You know, and I'm not gonna be like Cesar. Exactly, I was gonna like say Caesar. the same thing, bro. I that's honestly like it's, I it's it's funny you say that, bro, because I had literally someone today earlier at work fucking do that, like, and it's I feel like it's racist when a white person does it because they're like, mm-hmm. they're like I'll be like, oh, you know, what's your name? And I'm like Caesar C- Cesar, and I'm like, I just told Caesar. you, it's just Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> I just told you my name's Caesar. <laughs> Damn, I think like. You think my name is like simple and like I get you it really spelled wrong at I get it spelled wrong at Starbucks every single time. But I feel like they do that on purpose, huh? How at some point they have misspell to misspell Allen though. Like every single time, like double like, double L double E. How, like, All who in? names their kid L E N? All yeah, in. that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> who names them like A L L E N? Like I feel like that's the only other way I've seen Allen spelled. Yeah, it's true. But no, I, I mean, there's there's certain people that have like Peter or like yeah, that's true. Josh, and they somehow fuck that up. I like I like when people is like which like when it says fucking Jason's like what's your name fucking Ben <laughs> like I don't even know if that's my fucking order because they Bro, get the name so wrong the most fucking dry name ever though Ben <laughs> talking shit about people named Ben do you think anyone's first name is actually Ben or is it Benjamin <laughs> and then they call him yeah, Ben yeah there's gotta be there's I think there's a name I for everything I would hope so no 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 I'm saying like do you think like there's people that are like if I say oh what's up Benjamin it's like no it's actually just Ben yeah that's why not. Weird. I, like you don't I think, think it's so. Benjamin Affleck? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're fuck, like, fuck. I never thought about that. Yeah, fuck, that is, sounds is fucking it? weird. Is it though? Is it? <laughs> no, nah, it's just Ben Affleck, right? I'm just saying. But anyways, <laughs> I got these two guys on. <laughs> I know we just started talking about fucking names. <laughs> <videos. laughs> uh, mainly because, well, a lot of you guys know it's 2022. Gas prices are going up, and fucking people are buying NFTs, and people are leaving the real world and going to the metaverse. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, the, one of the main things right now is obviously NFT. Is that NFT and crypto are two different things, correct? Just to uh, clear they're that. related. They they're are like different, pretty they're, much. They're, they're related. They're you all need digital. It's like the same thing, kind of. So, uh-huh. like, like think of it like Facebook and Instagram. They're both social media, social media. but they do different things. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. So, mainly we're going to be talking about NFTs. Uh, a lot of you guys, my, I myself, I... I, I, I can't even say I know anything about them. Like, I have I know what they are. Like, if, you know, pictures I see and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't get the point of them. I don't know how there's so much money. I don't... Because, to me, I always thought I always thought of an NFT as, like, uh, like video games, right? Like, mm-hmm. I so when I was younger, I fucked up video games for myself. I, I would play, like, Need for Speed. Mm-hmm. And I would get all excited because I'd unlock, like, a badass car, like a Lamborghini. And I'd be like, this is dope. And then... Like, some adult side of me would be like, wait, but this is only in the game. Like, once you get off this game, like, you still got, like, no car. You live at your parents. You're like, you know what I'm saying? You're only cool in this game. So that fucked up video games for me. So I stopped playing. I stopped unlocking things because it didn't matter to me. So now I kind of see NFTs like that. Like, it's like this digital thing that you don't have a physical copy. I mean, I guess you could. But, like, the the actual thing that is making you money is something that's digital on the, on the internet or the computer. Right. So... I, I don't get it. Like, why would you want something that you can't physically hold and touch and, like, put in your house? The, well, it's kind of like the same concept as, like, you you already buy NFTs. They're just not called NFTs. Uh, do you, give you an example. Do you have any collectibles, like, at all? Uh, I'm not really a collectible guy. I mean, I guess I have, like, the Tito Ortiz thing that I've never opened, but I never okay, used. Okay, so that's a good example. Or even, like, the boards right behind you. Like, are they signed by BAM? Yeah. Right, so that's technically like a one of one because that's the only copy of that signature and that board and that style. So all it's really doing is, if, first of all, anything can be an NFT. It's not just like pictures and art. Anything that can pretty much be uploaded online can be put on can be put on the blockchain, which is like your Ethereum, your Bitcoin, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so you, pretty much you're, all you're doing is you're just like posting it. Think of it like as, as a Facebook post. I'm just uploading it here. All just you're just uploading it to a different type of Web three. 
that's why it's called web 3 so uploading to web 2 is like taking a selfie i upload it to instagram web 3 is you take a selfie you put it in the blockchain which does a whole bunch of crypto i don't fucking know the, the technical shit about it <laughs> see and that's the thing too like people think like like how you're saying like i don't know anything about like nfts like it's not even like like how I started in NFTs is I started in August, which was last last year barely. It's like six months barely in the NFT space, six, seven months. And I had been hearing about it kind of like, you know, how you're like, oh, you hear about it. You see it on videos and shit like that. Yeah. And one day I saw Gary Vee. I don't know if you know Gary Vee. He's one of the influencers. Um, so I saw him on TikTok talking about how NFTs are the greatest technological revolution ever yeah. since the printing press, since fucking humans founded fire. And so then I was kind of thinking, I was like, why? That's a bold statement. <laughs> exactly. Right. And so I was thinking, like I was like, life changing. Exactly. Yeah. So then I was like, why is he saying that? Like, I just was like, I've, it's because I've seen Gary Vee throughout the years say stuff. And like, I see it and I don't do anything about it. And I'm like, and then suddenly whatever he said kind of pops off like the beanie babies mm -hmm. the hot wheels cars fucking it's, all the it's insane little kids literally buys. everything that the guy has said is gonna blow up or is gonna make people money it literally happens like yeah and does. so like for it's, me it's nuts he must so, have helped create the simpsons too shit so <laughs> predicting all this bro, shit. For so real, for right? me bro i fucking i saw that shit and i was like why why is he saying that and so then i made a tiktok which is the one that we're on right now um shout out everybody over here watching me on tiktok so I made a TikTok called Alan, the NFT guy. And so my goal was, I don't know what NFTs are, but I just need to become that guy for when they become something. And so for me is I would Google what is an NFT. And then once I understood what it was and I didn't even really understand it, I just knew what the fucking words said. Mm -hmm. I literally was like, hey, guys, my name is Alan, the NFT guy. And this is what an NFT is. And then well, that's it. Real quick. Ba uh, back to I should ask in the first place. What does NFT stand for? Non-fungible token. Uh, okay. So that's it. Just means that there's only one. That think of it like that. There's just one copy of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like having a digital password. So like you know how you can take a picture and you can send me that picture and we both have your image. Yeah. Well, what when you upload it to the blockchain, your image that you take is like you add like a stamp, like a stamp of like a signature that it's yours. Mm -hmm. And so even if there's a thousand online copies, <laughs> your phone. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Going on his life. <laughs> So um, when you're um, when you upload it to the blockchain, it gives you that code like for you. Mm -hmm. It's just yours. So there could be a thousand selfies of yours, but the only one that matters is yours because you're the only one that can verify that you have it. Does that make oh, sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all it is. And so what's happening is who's your favorite musician? I'm going to make it super simple for people that don't understand what this is. Drake. Drake? Perfect. Yeah. What's your favorite song from Drake? Um... I'll just say Hotline Bling. I don't know why I'm, I'm fucking brain. Hotline Bling? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. So. It's a great song. By how, the way. how many views song. does that thing have? Like millions, <laughs> millions of views? Yeah. 1.5 million. I watch it like every other 1. day. 1.5 million? I think <laughs> it's going to have more than that. Nah. I, nah I, that's well, a lot. Probably, probably more. Probably 1.5? 1. Yeah, I think it's for sure got more. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let's say 2 million. 5 yeah, million. So imagine if Drake was like, hey, I'm going to pretty much sell you this song. And then you're going to kind of have the rights to it. Would you buy it? If he was like, here, I'll give it to you for a hundred bucks. You get a portion of it. Oh, hell yeah. Right. That's all. That's what NFTs are. It's literally artists like saying, hey, this is what I made. Mm. It comes one of one because it's pretty much yours if you buy it. And then once people buy it and if anybody else wants one, guess who they got to buy it from? They buy it from you. And so like, let's say you, let's say Drake releases 10 copies of Hotline Bling. Mm -hmm. And he's like, hey guys, I'm selling Hotline Bling, the rights to it, thousand bucks each. And you're like, oh, fuck, I like Drake. I like, I fuck with them that much. All right, let me invest a thousand bucks into this song. Now I have a portion of the rights to it, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say he does it too. And then the neighbor and then the neighbor. And so then let's say you got 10 people. They all buy this Drake song for a thousand each. And then let's say I come along and I'm like, oh, I love Drake too. And I want to buy this. It's like Drake's like, well, too bad. I don't have any more. All 10 are sold. Yeah. And so then, okay, then who would I talk to? Well, whoever owns it. And if you think that it's worth $50,000 because Drake as an artist is that popping, then guess what the market price is? It's $50,000. And so people will pay $50,000 and more for NFTs because of the associated value that's already attached to it. But, okay, and then so after, okay, let's say Drake says $1,000 for all 10 of these or each one is $1,000. Um, at that point, say, okay, well, I want one too, so I'm going to go to you. You have a copy of those 10 um do you set the price? You're like, okay, well then give me 
hundred thousand. See, that's the you cool could. thing about it, bro, is that it's kind of like a. From what I've seen, it's kind of a community thing, mm-hmm. bro. Like yep. the community sets the price. Yep, the, the community, community of because like the the people, the uh, actual creators, can set a price of something for like a hundred bucks, right? Mm-hmm. Like, all right, I'm releasing this for a hundred bucks, but they could be so hyped that they sell out instantly. And if the community sees that there's literally millions of people that were trying to buy it, but there were only seven thousand made, you can easily price those for a thousand now you're pricing them at a thousand each so because this person sold it at a thousand i'm gonna put mine at 1500 or mine at 3000 because mine's more rare than his Mm -hmm. so it's like you know from there on because remember that these things are based off rarity you know what i mean they're like just like to put it there might be this specific song that's released but then there's this other song that has this feature with little baby and future there's this other fe- you know song that has this feature you know what i mean so there's mm. like there's different versions of each one which makes each one a little bit more rare than the other so when one sells for a specific price this other person comes around and they're like all right if this sold for that much mine can sell for this much and they 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 do you know what i mean that's a crazy part about it mm. is that the community pretty much sets the price it's it's the people who buy them and, and sell them and trade them. So uh, when you say the community, are you saying like within the people that are also like NFT owners or sellers yeah. or whatever? Mm-hmm. So like we so do they, the community. Do they, so we all be like that, like we all agree. Okay, that's badass, right? Right. So then if another guy comes around and he builds his own, every, if like majority of the, the community is like, nah, shit's whack. It's not going to go up. It's all about the hype yeah. within that, the community mm, or? Not just the hype. It depends on what the company is doing at the time. So like right now, I'll give you an example. So right now, when I was selling, when I started selling my NFTs, I was selling them for 150 bucks each. Right now, I think they're trading for about 350, 400, 500 bucks each. Yeah. And so it depends on what the person is doing. So like here in the next month, this month, or the next, I'm gonna look to open up a store here in Yuma that's like a resale shop, and then it's gonna have a mixture of art, NFTs, resellings, a bunch of stuff. Um, and so as things like that like when the nft community hears of news like oh alan's opening up a store that usually brings in more buyers and as more buyers kind of come in it creates more hype for the project or for for whatever's going on and so it depends and so that's what's called a roadmap so companies before companies are established they'll say hey this is the company this is what we plan to do this is how much they cost and if people look at it and they're like oh that looks dope like i want to be a part of that so like imagine like if drake was like hey guys i'm gonna uh, create a record label i'm gonna sell fucking shares of it for 10 bucks each mm. and if you buy the nft version of this record label whatever money i make off of this songs that i drop through that label you as the purchaser of my nft are the ones that benefits off of the royalties of that and so as my music gets more popping your nft becomes more valuable okay yeah and it, it's crazy that you point that out because i i mean i feel like most uh, people that know bare minimum about nfts usually see you know the the apes mm-hmm. these like Born graphics apes. these like these like digital looking pictures of like roblox yeah. and shit. Right. but that's it's funny that you say that people um especially like artists and stuff that they sell like videos and stuff because i have seen um certain comedians certain acts that they have done that they've never posted they're like i have this one from 1980 whatever it was my first time doing stand-up i'm gonna sell this as an nft i've seen tony hawk sold like um that uh, like the video of the copy of when he did like the first 900 at the x games like he had the original version so like he sold that as an nft coachella has been doing that with like certain sets that they recorded yeah. or stuff like that so and to me it still doesn't make sense to me but i i can get that i that makes sense like it's like as far as like buying this shit because it's like okay that's cool like it's some it's like your favorite artist or favorite you know comedian skater whatever and you have something of theirs that only they had before and now you have it you want a piece of that i get that now going into these nfts that we all know as like these pictures these apes these like images that are like some of them are like shitty they look Mm -hmm. like old school retro games Mm -hmm. and they have like these punk ones yeah Yeah. Yeah. and that that actually that's the first ones i've ever i ever saw were the the crypto punks the ones that were like all blocky and shit and i was like what the fuck is this i was like this is like a nintendo graphic like i I was like why it just it made no sense because all i saw no one explained the nft when they first came out all i saw was i bought this you know this graphic for ten thousand dollars and i'm like what and and like and like i said like yeah. that's something that it, it's like only online though and it, it, it i feel like today after we're done you're still gonna explain everything and i'm still gonna be like i still don't get it as far as like i can't wrap my mind around the fact that you would purchase something online and i, I mean i'm not calling you guys nerds but i feel like the nerdy thing is like oh i want that too it's online like 
And then, and then, like, you go around being like, oh, look at this crypto I got or whatever. Or, like, this NFT, I mean. And they're just like, cool, like, where is it? And you show them on the phone, they're like, screenshot. Like, I can screen th- screenshot that shit, now it's mine. And, and it doesn't work that way, I get that. But when I see them online, that's all I'm thinking is, like, I can just screenshot this shit. Like, <laughs> you know, now it's yeah. mine. But, like you said, I guess there's, like, a process. I'm guessing there's, like, a code, like, a yeah. QR code. I don't know the fuck. It's, uh, well, it's that's like, kind of like the blockchain. That, I don't understand the math and the science behind how that shit happens. Mm. I just know it pulls up on the internet. It's pretty much, like, traceable forever. So, think of it, like, this is the cool thing about this. Like, if NFTs were, it's going to sound stupid and weird, but if NFTs were created 2,000 years ago when Jesus was alive, we would have proof that he was alive because we can just Google it on the blockchain. I'm going to get the NFT of... You know what I mean? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Dude, Jesus. So, now what's going to happen is... <laughs> So the, the way the future is going to be recorded through the blockchain is because it's like it's there forever. Uh-huh. And so pretty much 10,000 years from now, someone can just fucking look up something on the blockchain and pulls up like it was just yesterday. Like wow. it happened. So it's a new way of looking at information. It, it's going to be just like Ready Player One. Then it's not going to be like apocalyptic and everyone in their trailers and, you know, doing VR like that. Yeah. But the world of that how, would be cool, how it's, the technology is going to get is definitely right on that path. So I would say that, like, to answer your question as far as, like, what, like, what the fuck makes these, I can say that, right? What? I can cuss. Like, I can say what the fuck. Of course okay. you can. All right, bet. I just, just want to make sure. All right. I talked about so, anal one time. <laughs> All right, bet, bet. So I guess what I, what I, what, to answer your question on so why these things are so fucking expensive, like, why a shitty ass fucking JPEG image that's, you know, literally less than fucking 320p. Yeah why it sells for two hundred thousand dollars is a utility and and what that is a utility is pretty much when you buy what he was talking about the roadmap like with these nfts is a roadmap is pretty much what these creators they have a set roadmap right pretty much what and, and that's what all these buyers initially are buying the nft for Mm -hmm. right is because they see this roadmap when this roadmap is pretty much all these things that the creator is promising that it's going to give back to the community if they buy this Mm -hmm. nft pretty Uh much so when this person sells this many nfts they're gonna launch a store when this person sells this many nfts they're gonna set up a meet and greet with fucking tory lanes Mm -hmm. drake and future uh when they fucking that you'll have access to if you're an nft holder if Um. i sell this many nfts i'll host a fucking party on a yacht board ape board ape that's what they do when you have a fucking uh that that's a you their utility you have a fucking access to this million dollar yacht party with all these fucking a-list celebrities and fucking millionaires see that's what i'm fucking talking about so that's, that's what you're that's paying the return for. that i would look for that's, well, that's what you're what getting it that's it's what a, you're getting out of it. Pass. That's see, all it is. and that's funny that you say that now because now it's all clicking in my head because yeah. we're going to coachella soon and they've been posting with the nfts obviously the last one they had was 2019 so that wasn't the thing popping now right. that it's they've had all this time after the pandemic they're having their next one or the, the one coming back up and they're sort they're selling nfts but with those I, and i would see like if you buy this nft of like beyonce's f- performance at coachella right um it would say like it, it it can include like lifetime passes to coachella and i was like what so that makes sense and it, it's it, it's yep. almost like um uh it's uh, like if i'm not mistaken i think ferrari or lamborghini if not both once like to buy a car you, you either you have to be like invited and then on top of that, once you buy one, you're part of like this club and it's like only people that are either invited or people that are in the club can purchase these vehicles within them. And like, and, and I didn't even know that. I yeah. And then, and it, that sounds same thing. Like sounds dope though. Yeah. Cause <laughs> well, I watched, uh, like you become a part of a community. I'm assuming you yeah. have that. Yeah. But, but like, like a, like a, like a rich people club. Yeah. yeah. It's like that's the same. The it's, <laughs> so that's pretty much what like the NFTs are pretty much. It's We're going like, to have little Lim- Illuminati groups. Like, you know, they have yeah. everyone's like, everyone's <laughs> against each other. Like little secret oh, societies. So mine's called cannibals. So it's like the cannibals against the fucking slum dogs and the fucking board apes. Like everyone's got their community. They hang out with like, Oh, these are my people. It's like we're a gang and like the movie warriors yeah yeah the yeah. clowns and the that's what, yeah, bro, yeah, just exactly. people depending just like on that. what you're doing the cool thing about nfts is that there's something for everybody like whatever yeah. you want like you, you like sports betting there's sports betting nfts you like uh like you bet nfts? nfts yeah okay bro you could even bro you could create a fucking metamask wallet which is what you make to go on this web 3 type of stuff mm. you can go on decentraland which is this online little like you just like playing gta online kind of in a sense yeah and you can go put ethereum which is the real life money into uh into the game and you can bet like you're in a casino and the bet can come out you made a hundred thousand on a fucking plane on your computer 
What? Because you bet fuck? Ethereum. It's the same thing as going to a casino without having to show your ID. Like, hey, I'm. Because it doesn't. It's decentralized. It's for everybody. It's everybody's nobody. Yeah. So it's like you can put on a mask. That's what it is. So like you can. That's why a lot of people are going to gravitate to it in the future and getting all weird in 1984 style type of shit. Like because people have these. I don't want to say like simple lives because we're we're just hanging out and we just you know we're normal and shit. But sometimes you want to be like that celebrity and that person in another world. And so kind of NFTs kind of are going to allow you to do that. Because, like, I don't know celebrities, but if I own a board ape, I'm suddenly a celebrity because I'm on the same level that they are. Yeah. And so in the NFT space, once it gets more metaverse you're going to see a board ape and you're going to be like, oh, that guy, he's one of the OGs of whatever this is. So he's one uh, of the rich guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like They're going to be like the celebrities of the... Like, I'd rather hang out with... NFT people than celebrities, to be honest. Like, like do you I, know? I, I gravitate more. Yeah, for real. Do you know what the metaverse is really going to become, like, in, as a whole? Like, I've always thought of it as like The Sims. <laughs> so it's so pretty much like, did you did you ever have a, a PlayStation? Did you? I ever got one go, right now. So do you, do you ever go on like the PlayStation Network back on like PlayStation? What was it? Three? No, I, I just got PlayStation Network like when I got my PS4. There was I, like, I was so behind. I didn't even I didn't know how to connect Wi-Fi to a PS3. So it was like Sims kind of, <laughs> and and it was like pretty much you were you you get to create a character that make it look just like you, and you pretty much go and you walk around these different communities, and it's literally just virtual people. Like you get to have virtual texts or whatever, you know, talk to people, have interactions and shit. Go check out each other's houses that you pay for and design and stuff. You got to pay real money, obviously, for it. Yeah. But like, I mean, it's stuff that was going on back in like PlayStation back in. But now it's going to be a social. But that media, was just as a video game. As a video game. And this but is now, real life turning into like another exactly. Lot yeah. Of like Mark Zuckerberg version. literally wants to bring it to a social platform now. Like he wants to create a virtual like social network, but like. I don't know. It's just weird. Like in a video game way, that's that's pretty much how the metaverse is going to be. Yeah. Like people are like now, like I've seen so many people that I follow on fashion that are now creating their own fashion lines and fashion like items that they're going to have in the metaverse. So little NFTs that you're going to buy that you're going to be able to use in the metaverse, like as far as like clothing pieces, vehicles, you know, motorcycles, literally everything, bro. Like they're selling everything right now well, for the metaverse. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't know if you guys heard the story. I mean, there's a little side note, but like. Did you guys hear that thing? I guess there was already, like, uh, someone, like, committed, like, I don't know, like, a crime in the metaverse already? No way. What, some, what I guess, it same thing, like, these two, the guy, this guy and this girl, they had, like, their characters or whatever in the metaverse. Mm -hmm. And that, I guess the guy, like, grabbed, smacked her butt in the oh, metaverse. Yeah, <laughs> and she, like, filed or something. Yeah, like, and it's, like, one of the, it's, like, the first crime that ever happened in the what? metaverse. <laughs> but, like, but see, <laughs> that's, that's great. <laughs> they should go to a fucking Call of Duty lobby. Oh yo, I know. Like, huh? People are just like fucking tea bagging people. For real, bro. <laughs> like you know, I was telling him, bro, that it reminds me a lot of like. Have you ever seen the movie Gamer? Uh, with uh, uh, with the guy gamer, uh, that gamer. plays, fuck, Olympus has fallen. That one dude, I forget. I never his name. seen that. <laughs> fuck, man, I I've forget his name. Gamer, Law Abiding Citizen. Oh, Gerard Butler. Yeah, from yeah. Three hundred. Right? Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah. So the movie Gamer, where he's like living in this virtual video game, where like the prisoners are, they get to like, they pretty much are in Call of Duty, but in real life, like they get to play but they're as prisoners. Like, yeah, they're prisoners, and yeah. if their characters, like if they're players that play them outside, like in the real life, they play them as like VR type shit. Yeah. Like if they play them good enough to win this battle royale, like they get to get out of prison, like free, like from oh, their shit. fucking life sentence type shit. Uh -huh. So, and then there was like this other one that was like, it reminds me so much of like the, the metaverse could be, bro. It's just like weird shit, it's gonna bro. It's going to be crazy. That's going to take a while to get to that level, but it is going to be insane. But it's so, going to be super complex, bro. Yeah. Well, but like, <clears throat> just when, when you bring that up though, like that's just, like it, it's a trip because say 10 years down the road when this metaverse becomes like full on, like, They've gotten like a, a a good enough community to where that's legit a whole another universe that like we can join. All these movies we saw that they like, oh, this is what the future's gonna be like. We're gonna watch movies like that and be like, damn, like the movie that's real life now. Yeah. yeah. Like it's and like I feel like we're going towards all this sci-fi shit we see in movies. Yeah. It's kind of going into that point where it's like when we watch movies now, it's kind of not gonna entertain us because like that we could just go in the metaverse and do that. Yeah. Like, I ain't going to watch Avengers. I'm going to go be an Avenger. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, bro, that's what makes it even better. Dude, wouldn't that yeah. be sick? Yeah. Imagine. That's like, what makes it even better. Imagine you could buy, like, some type of something where your character, like, say if this movie came out, right? You could be, like, a metaverse character in that movie. But, like, only in your version. So, like, yeah. say at home, 
you you had the whole Avengers, but the whole time like you're like this character like fucking shit up. But I don't know, like, and, yeah, like dude, because so, with AI and stuff, they could just like build like they can change the story around you, like exactly. Yeah, you can do that. That so so, so think about it like superhero? Fortnite and like Call of Duty, bro. So like like Fortnite, every time there's something new crazy happening in the real life, they drop a fucking skin in the video game. So, so what are people doing? Paying twenty five fucking dollars to be Spider Man when it just came out in the fucking theaters. Dude, you know what I mean? Thing. Same so, shit. The cool thing about this stuff, not only that's just like you're scratching the surface barely. For real. Like there's a thing. It's like the what is it? The dark web. Yeah. Well, like yeah, you ever see the of, yeah. the picture the, of the, the iceberg? The iceberg and yeah. it shows like the internet and then it shows like this and it shows like the dark web and it shows yeah, this and then there's bro. like I was like there's more after the dark web. Yeah. Wait, bro, I didn't we're even not know even, there was more. No, I didn't even what, know there was more after the dark about, web. Dude. <laughs> what we just talked about, we haven't even like gotten in the water. We're just like on the surface. Damn. Like bro, there's this even thing that's called play to earn. For like someone like Caesar who does Twitch streams for like gaming and Call of Duty, like there's this one NFT project called Meta Ops, which is pretty much the same thing as Call of Duty, mm. but it's for NFTs. Well, in that, as you improve in the video game, you get paid in the token of whatever the game is. So it'll give you, let's say, Meta Token. Mm. So if Caesar, for every kill you get, you get one coin, and then he can go cash that coin out on Coinbase and then take it to his bank account. So as he's playing, he's making money. And as he's unlocking skins that are NFTs, he can then resell them to you, to you, to you. And so he's just making money playing a video game. Damn. Yeah, that's called play to earn. There's people that make 20 racks a month playing video games on the Web3. That's crazy. I, yeah, I. that's what I'm saying. And like, like you say, like we're barely scratching the surface, which kind of frustrates me because then I'm one of these people where like if I want to learn about something, I want to at least get a good grasp of it to where it's like you pretty much got like you have like most of it a down idea, with yeah. this it's like you, you can explain all this shit about nfts all this shit about crypto all this stuff about the metaverse and then i'll be like okay like i think i get it and you're like and then by the way there's also <laughs> this where if you get this i'm like yeah. whoa wait it's like a whole nother level of like more shit there's i'm like lot, bro. nah there's like there's, there's too lot. much like just how, where do i go where i just buy something and sell it for and make a million dollars uh open sea <laughs> yeah. takes two seconds <laughs> dude that's what i want it, you, look if you guys are going to watch this on, on YouTube or you're going to hear this on a podcast, please get in on NFTs because if not, you're going to miss out on the biggest opportunity of your life. Like, there's only probably about 1% or 2% of the entire world that's doing it. I think I'm the only dude in Yuma, probably the one of four people in Arizona and probably, like, maybe out of 100 or 1,000 people I'm about in to the be United number States. five, baby. Yeah, bro. Like, for real. Like, it's so early. Like, like it's already been out for, like, two, three years. But So like, I'm not too late. No, I still have a chance. Fuck yeah, there's, I can still make some big money of, before it gets too popular and it's like uh, it's gonna. So the, the thing is that people are listening to me. And they're gonna be like, yeah, whatever. That's it's what gonna I'm happen doing. anyways. <laughs> it's gonna happen anyways. So might as well get in on it when the fucking crazy kid comes on your podcast and tells you to get in on it. You don't want to be on a podcast five years from now and be like, oh, I had the Allen dude and I fucked up because I bought this <laughs> coffee and it's a fucking NFT and I paid twenty bucks for it. I could have invested in this fucking Starbucks coffee twenty years ago. I think like, about that shit all the time. Every time I buy some stupid shit, I'm like. I should just buy a piece of stock. Like, I buy it all the time. <laughs> if I'm doing it, a lot of people are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you don't want to have beer. that podcast real, where you're like, oh, he was telling me about that shit. And now it's everywhere, and now it's hard to make money on it. Ten years from now, you're all rich, pulling in on your fucking Lamborghini. We're going to have another episode in the same-ass room where you're like, dude, I told you get NFTs. You could have really, been with that's, me. That's what I'm telling you. Well, after, I'm telling you. If you guys are listening right now, that's, like I told you guys, this is the the 50,000 chapter book on how to make a million dollars just listen to the whole thing and then by the end you'll be rich because yeah. when i when we're done i'm not even lying like i thought about it jokingly i was like i just want to make like an nft but like just like the picture i don't really actually want the money part but i'm now like i kind of want one you should do you ever think about because like i i'm pretty sure a lot of people have this idea where like they're probably like me where they want to get involved in this stuff they don't want to do all the research they don't want to do all the work like have you ever thought about making like a service where kind of like um it's uh, free on my tiktok <laughs> <laughs> no no but like say if I mean, if I trusted you enough, I gave you some. You can't do that. Su- no, no, that's I can't a, give you some amount of money, and then you just go. No, that's guess if- that's what that's legal advice. So I can't do that. That's so wink, a, a wink, lot right? of times. Yeah, so you have to hire. You know, like the stock people, like the people. I don't even know. I don't even stock brokers. Of, yeah, you. So then that's what I was thinking. You, you can't do that with NFTs. Damn, you can't, that's not a thing. I yet. can't give you thousand dollars to spread it around and. Or mm, I can't. You're like gifting it to me, and I buy it on my. Like I can't do that. Buy for you, and then give you back the money because that's illegal. What so, if I give you like a percentage? That's no, you can't do that. Oh come on. <laughs> yeah. So like I, know <laughs> I don't want to do the work. I yeah, know what I you mean. I know exactly what you. But there's so there's this thing called alpha groups. 
So alpha groups are just a group of people that, like, imagine we're all three in the group chat. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, I show you how to download a MetaMask, which literally all you got to do if you're on here, Google MetaMask Chrome extension, download it on Chrome. Guess what? You got a MetaMask. Like okay. LimeWare? Am uh, I going to get Am I going to get It just fucking... goes on your, no, no, it's, it's just an extension. It's like a little fox that goes on top of oh, your okay. screen. Am I going to get hacked, am I? No. Is it going to crash my computer? Links. Just don't click links. That's all you got to know. Dude, I'm a clicker. <laughs> Dude, uh, dude, I'll be watching. Po- Twenty three miles away. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I'll be like, that's crazy. Yeah. Drive. yeah, I'll be watching porn. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm. There's a girl two miles down the road from my house that wants to hook up. <laughs> you know, I'm clicker. I, I, get, I, get, I get interested. I think, like, what happens if you just fucking like? Do I just meet up with her? Like, who's gonna meet me? Well, that's what because like when I watch porn, I watch it on my private part. Like you know, you, on your inst- on your private uh, browsing. Yeah, I go private browsing. Yeah, and then I, I never use my zip code, but somehow it'll be right. like. There's 24 single 45 year olds in Yuma, Arizona. I'm like, how the fuck do you know that? <laughs> For real, bro. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Huh? Yeah. How'd you know, how'd you know that was the age <laughs> I wanted? The AI fucking knows that. That was my bro. Tinder limit right there. <laughs> For real. And they do listen to you, bro. Like, that ass, you can be, like, we can be talking about some shit, and then later on it just pops up on your phone. You know that, right? Yeah. No. Like, with the ads. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, and. Like that's it's, the thing is uh, that cookies kind of thing. That's what like but not audio, no, like, audio you can, wise. You can oh, without like, even talk to your it. iPhone about like oh I need to buy diapers and you're gonna get Huggies commercials. Yeah, I'm just talking. You don't even gotta have your phone on. That's true. It's already listening to you right now. Yeah, but I think it picks what it wants. Like it goes towards certain things because like like if I'm looking at, like if I look at a pair of shoes, a lot of stock X, all those ads on Facebook will come up. But then like if I'm looking up like. No, actually, even houses too. Then real estate shit. But that's true. Yeah, but that's true. the like the typing part, I understand that. Like they probably save the shit. Like when you type search stuff up, you can delete it from your history, but they have it saved, and then they target you. But the one that trips me out is the audio. Like when mm-hmm. we're like say after this, we're talking about all this stuff, and I go as soon as I go on Facebook, I've never seen an ad for you know NFTs or like crypto or like yeah, any of that shit. You're probably gonna guess. It, right, I'm probably gonna yeah. see like fucking all these like different ads and stuff like. Oh, you invest in this. You're going to go on TikTok and you're going to see a bunch of fucking other NFT TikTok fucking people. You should. To, to look, this is what I tell people. Like, this is the easiest advice, like, if you want to get into NFTs. Mm. If you already have a TikTok, which most, pe- most people do. Yeah. Um, if you don't, just fucking download TikTok. It takes three seconds. Yeah. And also, that's the one thing, too. I'm kind of very realistic. Like, I'm very, like, open with all the stuff I do and I tell everybody. But I'm also very realistic. Like, if people tell me, like, hey, I want to make, you know, I want to make NFTs. Like, I want to do exactly what you do. Because I have a lot of people on here that, like, literally, they'll ask me every single day, like, hey, dude, I want to do what you do. Like, how can I do it? And I'm like, I post it on TikTok five times a day, probably for the last six months, every single day. But see... Uh, so uh, my uh, my bad on my part, like as far as research wise, I should have seen some of your TikToks and watched them through. But like Just I come across in. a lot of TikToks of like and you click on the, these like girls accounts and it's all them talking about like I can show you how to make this much money. And, and you know, kind of like they look like scams. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like when it comes to TikTok, it's really hard to have like a fake. You know, you can have like an Instagram profile like a where it's like, oh, I've, I've uh, Bitcoin. And you see all this money and like Gucci shit like they post TikTok. You really can't do that. Like it's more of like live video you can have fake accounts but as far as like actual videos that they make those are usually real but i get a lot of those and i and, and a lot of them are just like like i the, the, in the tiktoks they say like if i've been posting about it you know you guys have these comments just listen to what i'm saying and you could be just like me and, I, and there's so many times where i'll, I'll add them but i'll never watch the videos because i'm like this might be real so yeah. maybe the same thing happens with you you have these like these things you show up like don't show off but like like you said you're very transparent with what you make and, and how you do it and you're just trying to spread the word you're not you know you're not you're not one well, of those people well, that like well, oh i'm gonna hide it i'm gonna keep everything for myself like well, you, you know so that's the thing so well, the thing about the cool thing about this stuff too is like but i'm saying like tips and it, stuff or something well like once you put it on the blockchain it's there forever everyone can go look at what my collections have made and you can just make the math no no but i'm saying like tiktok wise like people that aren't part of that community yet that are like what you're doing is you're helping people out that they kind of like like me i want to know yeah. about it but like you're making these videos and like you said, you, you, you tell people on TikTok all the time and you still get the same question over and over. But if I was to come across yours, I would think like, oh, it's just another get rich quick scheme, you know, or like a pyramid scheme or like stuff like that. So I can see where maybe people would just kind of be like, yeah, I've heard this before. I've heard this before. I, I don't think know. It's, it's like the, the thing is, uh, it's inevitable in anything. Like I think about that with like uh forex like when people hit me up about the forex i'm like bro that shit sounds weird like don't i don't i i'm i'm like that against that was that foreskin I, what'd you say 
<laughs> the forex trading uh, i don't know what the fuck like you know it's, I, it's like stock trading for like london i don't, or know, I don't know what it is <laughs> what's that <A> foreskin <laughs> the foreskin trading it's like one of those words that it could either mean like the skin of your penis or like another one it's like the complete opposite like either the skin of your penis or money <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what i think about like forex trading and some people probably make money but it sounds weird to me and it looks weird so i don't like i don't look at it you know yeah so i'm sure and the thing is though like like 100 people are going to listen to me do nfts and then nobody's going to do it and then two kids are going to be like i want to do it and then they're going to do it and then they're going to make money and then they're going to tell another 100 people do nfts and then two people are going to do it and then then five years later everyone's rich except for everyone that didn't do it so and it's not even like and I, that's actually very miss uh construing because i say everybody's rich like if it's so easy to make money in the nft space it's not it's not that easy but it's not extremely hard it's, it's and a lot of people aren't taking advantage of it yeah it's like i think it, bro it's literally like the the best way to make money i think in nfts in the way i think is super simple all you got to do is that i'm gonna give you the five three steps this is not financial advice you make a tiktok follow a thousand nft pages like make a separate one so you don't got to look at it on your normal page make follow a thousand nft tiktoks like mine other nft people just so that you can kind of get used to because that's where i got my information when i started nfts i didn't go on youtube or google i was like this guy said that an nft is a monkey jpeg cool hey guys monkey jpeg nft that's what it is mm. that's all i would talk about i would literally just watch him like all right cool hey guys this is what it is all right bet so what happens is you're just gonna get used to like understanding so many little people with different videos and talking and different stuff different terms and you're gonna get like a little bit of a good understanding then you're gonna make a twitter then you're gonna look up nft people you know and then you're gonna pretty much follow as many accounts as you can mm -hmm. that's it so now you have two platforms where the only thing that you see is nfts so what happens is just just watch it don't do anything else don't fucking spend no money don't do anything just watch it mm -hmm. just watch the tiktoks Watch the Twitters. Join some spaces. I don't know if you're on Twitter. You know how they have the spaces where people... Can I don't use Twitter. Oh, you don't use Twitter? No. I had it like when it was first popping, and I thought it was dying out, So I and I stopped slowly using it, so I deleted it. And then I tried getting one for the podcast, and it's just completely different now. I couldn't even, I couldn't even make a post. I was trying to post like an episode. <laughs> I felt like an old person. Like I wanted to be like, yo, can you post this for me? Like, How do you do this? How do you post a picture? That's the thing that sucks about Twitter, though. Twitter does compress the fuck out of everything, like pictures, videos. Like, you, the max you can put is like a minute video, maybe three, I think. Well, that's why I was going to use like the clips I could do for Instagram. Like just oh, yeah, like I said, true. just take advantage of all these platforms. Yeah, that's true. But, and that one was just I couldn't get through. Like I was about to pay someone just like, can you run my Twitter for me? Because I don't know how to do this shit. Yeah, bro. So just like just just look at it just look at it and try to so just surround it. yourself with it yeah, yeah. Man, until you get a little bit more comfortable and then you know start saving up your money download a metamask because you know it's literally like people think it's hard but all you literally have to do is google what is an nft what is a marketplace what is a wallet what do i need watch a five minute youtube video go on tiktok watch it a couple times go on twitter watch it a couple times watch it for like two three months you're like i kind of think i understand what these things are maybe i should try to buy my first one you buy it it's probably gonna go bad maybe because it ha that's what's called a rug pull is when you buy a project that doesn't work out they'll go down um i i always tell people if you don't get rug pulled you haven't really been in the nft space <laughs> like so it's like failing you, yeah, yeah like you gotta, you gotta get i've gotten rug pulled like probably five six yeah, seven I feel like times that's with everything though you yeah. know what i mean like no matter what you do you're gonna have those fucking like like those fucking dips yeah and but everything. and so is that losing money completely yeah. yes yeah like, that's like you lost it all <laughs> So, so it's not like stocks to where it can drop and then go high? It is does, it? yeah, it can. But, but like there's a point where you can completely like just bottom out and then you end up mm -hmm. making nothing off of yeah, it. Yeah, so what happens is sometimes like, and this is the discouraging part, like because I'll tell people about this stuff and they're like, oh, this is awesome. And you're excited about it. You spend, a th you get $1,000 that you've saved for four or five months. You buy your first project and the guy that created the project is a scammer. And he's like, I took all this money from y'all. I'm not making shit. And he leaves. Yeah, that's and the so thing now that you lost your thousand dollars. Yeah, because I've now seen you think the NFT space is a scam for real. Yeah, like <laughs> what was that one NFT project that did that? I forgot there's which a lot, one. Bro. There's, they happen every single day. Every yeah, single man. Day. Like there's a couple that like have actually like they've been pretty big, you know, NFT projects that got hyped up and everything and like millions oh, of people. The hate bears? Is, it's like is the that? hate bears is one, uh hate beast. Anything so I always Yeah, like they just get millions of dollars and then just boom. Just yeah, people took the so money out a, and just there's no you the don't collection. have to put your name behind it or anything so people can just make these projects people think it's good a lot of people invest and then they leave and goodbye you just lost all your money fuck 
yeah so that's a bad thing but i mean you know there's a that's the thing like there's that and everything you get scammed on your fucking anything you it's do. like a risk right yeah, yeah it's it's anything like, you do like anything you do yeah and that's why they always like a there's gamble. this thing on on tiktok or on tiktok on nfts it's called uh do your own research like you go in look at the website look at the owner look up his linkedin look if he's on youtube google him see if there's any publishing like anything and then make an educated decision as to whether you think the owner of this project is going to execute on his vision. That's all you're doing. That's it. I, I've probably never took more than 10 minutes to study something. And that's terrible because I'm in the NFT space all day, every day. Yeah. And I literally, I'm lazy, bro. I'm like you. Well, I'm not saying Whoa. you're lazy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> not like that bro like i'm just lazy Dude, bro. It's no my like podcast i'm getting disrespected on my own fucking podcast yo <laughs> nah, bro. like i'm just saying like i don't do research like i literally like it's it's common sense no nah, i get what you meant it's though it's almost common sense bro like it's you, 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 gotta gotta really, it. <laughs> you really gotta understand like five things like it's not that hard to understand like how to make money in the nft space like it's literally like i think it's like a fucking cheat code i'm like this is, fuck, bro. Is like, it, it's fucking insane. When bro. you're doing it, you're like, I, I gotta be doing this wrong, right? Like, this can't be too, like, it can't be this easy. Sometimes, is it one of those things? Mm, like, you're just like, of, this is kind of way like too it, easy. I feel like it, it, it's not, bro. Like, I mean, definitely, like, if you know what you're what you're doing as far as like the crypto setting up the <laughs> the MetaMask and all of that, bro. Then yeah, but I, bro, I just, definitely just to Google away. I know, but, but think just, about it. When you had MySpace. Yeah. Bitch, weren't you a full on coder in fucking MySpace? But nobody yeah. said anything. <laughs> I was on Tumblr and I didn't realize that I literally. Here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, like I said, when you guys leave, that, st- that shit better be here. <laughs> uh, do, do you know what Tumblr is? Or no? um, yeah, I know what Tumblr is. Yeah. So, like, I have a Tumblr, right? And so I was thinking about it. I was like, I had it for like four or five years. And I was like, I think I used to go on my fucking thing and edit the code to fucking get a new theme and all this shit. Well, yeah, that's, that's how MySpace was Bro, like the background. Bro, that is 10 times harder than NFTs. Damn, really? Yeah. That was just copy But and nobody said and... shit. Uh-huh. It's literally, that you had to Google that shit, didn't you? Loki, Loki you was pretty it. fucking annoying yeah, to change, bro, like, like the music We were full on coders, shit. but no one said anything, and all of a sudden everyone's bitching about NFTs. Probably... N- if you haven't, if you don't know what an NFT is, you probably haven't even Googled it or YouTube it or gone on TikTok and tried to learn no, about it or spent nah. more than 10 minutes without getting frustrated. Now, nah, hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell you the number one reason why nobody fucks with NFTs because it's related to crypto. So? Crypto's bro, badass. Yeah, I know, but, but it just, it, yes or no, bro. Like, you can't say people don't bash on people because you also cannot lie, though. Like, every fucking crypto guy has a new fucking crypto coin. That's the newest fucking Bitcoin, though. Like, you can't deny that. Like, there's always that one guy that's coming around and he's like, yo, you need to invest in this coin right now. This is the next fucking Bitcoin. You're about to become the next fucking millionaire. So when you hear a billion fucking different dudes saying like, yo, this is the next Bitcoin, you're like, all right, so which one which one fucking is it? Now, when you have that's you know, true. cryptocurrency bundled up with a bunch of fucking people that are always like, oh, you know, crypto this, crypto that. But then you got like, hey, NFTs, you know, this is the next big thing. You know, you're going to make tons of money all right what do i need to do oh you got to make this wallet what's this wallet you know linked to oh it's ethereum what's ethereum it's crypto uh <laughs> but you know that's crazy i feel part? like that's where people usually hit the fucking bump and they're like uh fuck now that sounds complicated like i feel it like does. just that word, yeah, yeah right because i'm like wait what <laughs> yeah but i feel like that's because that's how i felt bro as soon as i heard ethereum i was like why well, own oh, no fucking Ethereum? So hey, like, I didn't get that vaccine. What the fuck is yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> is that a new strain? Is that a new strain, dude? For when they what real, was the, uh, when the Omicron? Uh, I thought it was a crypto. No, no. <laughs> dude, I went. I'm to not even joking. I, I was like, all right, cool. They got more, and if they got more fucking digital currency out there, and people are like, people are dying from Omicron. I'm like, don't buy it then. <laughs> No, I just don't go, put money. <laughs> bro, die. I want to go buy. Uh, I want to go get my COVID shot. And the lady was like, so she gave me like the shot and it was like my second one. And they're like, oh, you can come back in two weeks for your boost. And I was like, Dad, bro, you've given me like four. What am I getting? Like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to go fucking travel. So they are like, yeah, just come next week for your booster. I'm like, booster? What am I boosting? And like, then you get your booster and they come back for I your come, NFT shot. That. I just got my fucking thing in the dip. The and you know what's the sad thing, though? Ethereum shot. NFTs and crypto are literally like vehicles to free people. 
like and like on some deep shit like for real like it's a way for people to to get out of literal poverty levels to the to the max because as long as you got internet service you're you're linked to a better currency that your country might not be able to provide so like let's say for a, a falling country like i don't know if it was el salvador that they were having issues with their monetary system mm. Um, as long as they got internet and they can buy this online version like this Ethereum, they're not no longer tied to the subject of their country. They're pretty much on the worldwide currency system. And if that's going up, they're making seven, ten times more than what they're making in their their country. And so for someone. So I'll give you an example. I have a buddy of mine who lives in India who has an NFT project. And I remember I bought one of his NFTs for like 150 bucks. He messaged me super grateful. And I was like, damn, this guy's like super excited about it. And I Googled it and 150 bucks is like a month's salary for them. And so to him, to make 150 bucks like that off of one picture is life changing. Yeah, of course. And so now imagine it's what's going to happen. NFTs are going to there's going to be a big shift in the world where a lot of third world and second world countries are going to start to improve themselves because they're going to adopt this currency faster because they don't got nothing to lose. They're like, our system already sucks. Might as well try to adopt the better one. And it sucks because a country like the United States or another country won't think of like, they they think that all these risks and all this stuff shouldn't need, and they're doing it by the way anyways. Wait, but isn't, isn't the United States like one of the only, well, China, was, was it China or Russia? Which one was it that, actually started crypto i don't know who started because i heard i heard Supposedly cri- nobody knows i heard crypto that's actually that's a question i think i, I think crypto is like banned in multiple countries isn't it that'd be funny if they yeah. banned it because they're like we don't get it so we're just gonna ban but it but think like, about it i, I, I don't, don't know, know if we're gonna make money and we're not gonna make it like, but for about some it. reason it is banned in no, multiple but countries but it doesn't matter but think about it like this so let's say let's say you got ten thousand dollars in your bank you've been saving for five six seven years war breaks out in the united states everyone's taking out their money and then you go and they're like sorry buddy your money's gone what do you mean my money's gone i've been saving oh, in the it bank for 10, yeah because yeah, they can do that because yeah. they're doing it in russia right now happening well so you can get rugged by your government mm. so but with crypto or you still get rugged with cryptocurrency but it allows you like it's yours nobody can take that from me as long as i got my own set of passwords like I can leave the so thing that the, someone made a statement on that. They said so when you download crypto, usually um, like an NFTs and things like that, MetaMask, they'll give you a passcode. So it'll usually be six to twelve words that you just remember them. And if you forget your password, as long as you got these words and you put them in the right order, you can log in at any place in the world. Okay. So now imagine you're a refugee in Russia and you're trying to leave the country or something and you can't go to the bank because they, you got sanctioned so you can't take anything out, but you remember these last six words in your head. So let's say you move to Poland, right? And then you're like, oh, I remember these words. Banana, dog, literally they're random ass words. Mm. And you download it and all your life savings are there. Mm. It's life. It's literally like it's revolutionary. That's why Gary V was talking about this is the next big. This is the new wave of monetary systems. It sounds bad and it sounds weird, but like the U.S. currency and every single currency in the entire world within the next uh, probably like 10, 20, 30 years are going to be obsolete and it's going to be all cryptocurrency. If And you could even mm. see this. I used to work at Chili's with Caesar. Um, and every time we can see where our money comes from, for me, 99% of my transactions were debit card. So what does that tell you? People that's, aren't even carrying their money. That's me. That's a, it's like I'm you're probably 100%. You're already doing it then. Yeah. It's just a different format. That's all. You're already. It, it tells you. It gives you signs. Like you can tell the signs. Like, oh, look, no one has money. I don't have. I don't remember the last time I literally carried 100 bucks in my wallet. Like literally just, oh, here's my debit card. So what? If I go to the strip club and I start throwing cards at them? <laughs> Like <laughs> that's gonna take away from strippers, dog. You guys are ruining. You guys are taking away jobs. Yo, from the hardworking no, Americans. Yo, there's there's a thing I heard too about Fucking like metaverse. I want real There's a lot face. of people really against NFTs too because of uh of for some reason it it hurting the environment and somehow don't know how or why it does, but it's called mining. So like because of mining the Ethereum. Yeah. So like. And I actually want to do that, bro. Even though I know, too. even though I know it's terrible for the environment, bro. But. Damn fuck man oh dude it, i mean yo it's just like people that buy like diesel trucks we know it's bad for the environment that's what, like that's that what outside, i'm saying but it's like it sounds and looks badass so i'm still gonna do it <laughs> bro like i can pay ten thousand dollars <laughs> for a fucking mining pc like build a fucking rig like hire somebody to build one for yeah, me I and then that. i can easily you know make like three four thousand you know dollars a month you know how people are complaining about gas uh i'm gonna use this for content because this is perfect you know how people are complaining that 
ten dollar gas is like five dollar gas is crazy yeah in the nft space there's something called gas fees which is like your transaction fee so like when i buy an nft i have to pay a fee bro i've paid up to 350 bucks a fee every time i buy i guess that's a big thing you should include like it's so a lot of people a know yeah, I'll, you should, i wish you would have started with that <laughs> yo i'm over here thinking yeah, like if bro, i put ten thousand like, that i'll go that's a if, big fact if you i left get ten dollar <laughs> gas i'm like hell yeah i'm fucking today's my day i get i fucking cheer when i got ten dollar gas like you guys didn't really you don't even know it that's not I, the same gas bro, we're talking I've about paid, dude, i bro, paid man. for my project i've paid twenty thousand dollars in fees twenty thousand is that like is that like uh when you buy like a plane ticket it's like a service fee mm-hmm like some it's like your service tax. fee with the fuck? crypto tax okay and you're still gonna get tax after that so it's just fucking like with the real like hr yeah. block tax oh yeah. fuck yeah, yeah pretty much twice. damn yeah that's that never mind i don't want to do it it's going back <laughs> I'm to done. i'm st- like you know my brain's turning into the fucking the monkey clapping the tambourines together because yeah. i'm like uh you lost me again <laughs> and again that's why that's why i feel like as a as a seller or i mean as a creator and as a buyer it's two different ways to look at it you know when you're trying to get into nfts like for me i feel like it was a lot easier for me to go in as a buyer rather than as a as a creator because as a creator you have to have that capital like to be ready for those gas fees because this dude was giving away like fucking cannibals left and right he still does and every time he gives that away every time he transfers that specific image into another person's wallet even though he's doing it for free he still has to pay fucking However fucking much it's going to charge him for gas to do it. So well, it's like, how that's how much he total. spent so far on just... Wait, is this $20,000, $20,000, like... $20,000, $20, bro. Like, like, out of your bank account? Yeah. God damn. Yeah, bro. So bro, it's like... the NFT game is crazy. So it's, it's fucking nuts how that shit works. And, like, so that's why I think as a as a buyer, it's definitely a lot easier to get in. Because, like, I mean, sure, it's a, it's a risk, right? Because, like, you got to look at which Life projects to do it. Yeah. You got to risk it like, for the biscuit. Exactly, man. It's like scared money doesn't make money. And that's, like, why. I'm scared to go to church. <laughs> that's why we recommend, like, $800, <laughs> I think, is, like, good fucking starting that's point. That's a good start Like, point. $800 yeah. is, like. You think, and it sucks because they're, like, oh, 800 bucks, but that's, like, people's rants and, you know, fucking. You know, it sucks. It's, str- it's a struggle, bro. Like, when I started at Chili's, I was literally, like, I would pay my bills and 99% of my money went on to NFC. I was broke. Yeah. Like, broke for months, like, trying to figure out this NFT game. Like, I was like, fuck it, I'll figure it out. I don't give a fuck if I got it. I was even telling my mom, I was like, I wanted to sell my car so that I can buy NFTs. And so... Man, for, that's commitment right there. Bro, so for me, I'm a graphic designer. That's why you don't care about the gas prices. You ain't got no car. <laughs> 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 well, you're driving a Tesla. So you don't give a fuck oh, about yeah, those. You, got a t- <laughs> you don't give a fuck about the fucking... You don't give a fuck about the fucking... Bro, this boy pulled up in a Tesla. He was uh, taking a nap in the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who's driving? He's like, drives itself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. If you don't believe in NFTs, go look at my IG. I know. I was pissed at your parents took it. I was like, man, I wanted to ride in it. I've never dude, been in one. No, but like... NFTs bought that shit. Like, I'm like, oh, shit. And, and think about it. Like, six months ago, I don't know. No, he didn't go with me. I went to Phoenix to go get a Tesla, and oh, I got yeah, denied because I, I didn't have enough money. You and what? I got denied it because I tried to get a Tesla six months ago. Uh-huh. And I got denied because I didn't have enough money or anything. Uh-huh. Pulled back up six months later. I was like, run that shit again. And I was able to get it. Because yeah. NFTs, bro. NFTs. I feel are like, like it wasn't even six months, bro. I feel like it was, like, less than that, bro. NFTs are, like, crazy, bro. Like NFTs I think equal Tesla. <laughs> if you know what you're doing like i think for me i think it's i i feel like i can teach someone how to make 100k a year like easy on nfts like it's not even hard like it's, it's easy. like i think that like if you're not making a hundred thousand dollars like a year in nft space you're doing something wrong in a year i'm saying in a year and i'm saying wrong and and i don't want to sound like condescending to people or like you know like it's just like I just think it's very easy. Like, it's not, it's literally like, like I said, I spend like five, 10 minutes studying a project and I'm like, all right, it follows like four or five guidelines that I think I got to understand. I'll do it 10 times, three of them fail. And then normally the seven times that I do, uh, I just follow this little checklist. Yeah. And it makes money, dude. Damn. I had, I'll give an example. I had a collection. So for me, one of my favorite collections was called All Smiles. Uh, It's from this artist. So this is how I knew to buy into this project. So there's a reputable artist on Twitter. Comes out. He's like, hey, guys, I have this fucking art. You know the art, the smiles, how they look dope? It's a 3D art. So he drops it. It's like a 1000 bucks. He's a reputable artist. He's done collabs with Supreme, you know, the Supreme brand. Yep. Um, He came out on national TV. Uh, A bunch of shit, like a bunch of uh, accolades and stuff like that. And he dropped his roadmap. And I was like, I think this is going to blow up. So I, I, and I like the art a lot. And the guy 
you could see him because his name is Wahid. And so you could see him. Like, he posts his face. Like, people know. Like, if you try to steal the money, they're like, motherfucker, we know what you look like. <laughs> yeah. And so for me, I was like, that's a good sign that I think I should buy into this project. And I loved it. The mm. art. So I bought it at 800 bucks. I bought one. And I ended up buying eight of them. Right? I bought eight of them. I was like, this is dope. Like, And then people would panic. It would go down to 600 bucks because they're like, oh, it's nothing's happening. That's called FOMO, fear of... Uh, Missing out? No, it's called uh, FUD. Uh, fear and indecision. Like, yeah, right. but it's fear. And, uh, it made sense to me. No, I thought it, it was is, though. It no, you're right. Well, FOMO is another thing. Yeah, yeah. that's the. That's yeah. what happens when you motherfuckers don't invite me out to parties. You see, you guys post that shit. <laughs> <laughs> invite me, dog. <laughs> but, like, I'll miss out on some shit. So like, Bags. I bought this fucking NFT for eight hundred bucks each. Right, I bought eight of them. I waited. I just held them. I just didn't do anything. I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna just hold these NFTs because I think what he's. I think the guy that created this project is going to follow through with what he says he's going to do surely enough three months later follows through each one is worth eight thousand dollars bitch i bought eight of them what's eight times eight 56k whoa that's but and then so what you just hold on to these until people hit you up and they're like no you can just put it on the floor and then sell it but people have to like they offer you money or like you set a price and they pay you that you money is there like a bidding thing or it's they like can. that's the set price or they can be like, I'll give you this. And like, why well, had a guy offer me this? No. So like if if the so remember, if all of them are sold out, mm -hmm. people have to buy whatever we price them. So everyone in the whole community was like, hey, guys, the price is eight grand. Cool. The next guy that comes in eight grand, buddy. And so guess what? He wants to come in. Eight grand is what you got to pay. Oh, okay. And so whoever prices their NFT for eight grand, they're the ones that. So that's why to get into the Board Ape Yacht Club, it's two hundred thousand dollars right now. Do you want to get into the club? Two hundred thousand dollars, buddy. That's yeah. it. And keep in mind that like everybody's constantly like talking to each other on like Discord. I don't know if you know what Discord is, but it's just like yeah, yeah, like a little like a separate like a like a community like on chat and shit. Yeah, it's like a chat where you can like yeah. video chat, voice chat, um, but pretty much you you're you're talking to each other every single day you guys much. talking about like oh i heard about this coming up like you guys should buy one yeah like, like you guys talk about that shit or what discussing like yo oh, yeah, like this the, is just that's what i was gonna say alpha groups so yeah. normally people will hang out so like let's say we're just in a group chat mm. and since since like let's say a project's gonna come out and i'm like i i since for me like i've been in the space so like i'll look at it and be like caesar i think you should check it out and you know i tell you like hey you should check it out i'm gonna buy it boom i buy it and then because you understand that i'm in the space i do this shit then you're like oh fuck it i'll buy it too and then he buys it so now we all make money because whatever happens the project goes up so normally people that are good at picking nfts they'll hang out in groups and they're like oh you want to be a part of the group you either pay or you join our discord and you can come hang out with our community and we all just talk about our plays and what we do and stuff like that so <clears throat> with uh like nfts metaverse and all that stuff like going with you and obviously your thing that your like niche i guess is like fashion and stuff like that how would that play a part in nfts and stuff like because i mean i mean in a way i guess like jordan's now with like hats and shit people you know buying them for you know 75 and then selling for like 200 because they're limited edition or whatever right would that transfer into that world as well but mm -hmm. at that but like it's kind of like i'd rather have the shoe where i can wear it opposed to this metaverse where it's like i got all these j's on so, this metaverse I'll give an example like, my buddy um he just bought i don't know what they're called but there were these uh these nike oregon signature i don't know they just dropped or whatever it was an nft it's like 30 grand mm -hmm. he bought it and he got the real ones too like they gave him both so that's what, that's another thing that's I was pretty much say. how i would tie it i that, think yeah because yeah. then you'd have to purchase it digitally and then they're like when you purchase so, this you also get a real let life me show you how version. this is gonna change the game forever and i'll show you guys like with what i'm doing with mine i actually think i'm the first one to think about this shit in a sense so so do you want to say it i don't give a fuck should i bleep it up no nah, it doesn't matter <laughs> but i think it's gonna be genius so I'm so listening. for me um since i have a clothing brand right i have my my crypto cannibals it's like a clothing skate brand type of deal so you know how i'm opening up my store next month that i'm trying to open up my store yep so i'm gonna have my store let's say i design this this black jacket right and i upload the 3d model of this jacket onto the nft version uh -huh. and i say hey there's one available i'll put it for a thousand bucks let's say you buy it thousand dollars you got the online jacket so then let's say you go to the store and you're like, oh, look, that looks like the fucking jacket that I own virtually. Mm -hmm. Well, I can put a QR code maybe like on the on the like on the right here or maybe on the back of the thing wherever. And then I can link it back to the NFT that you own. So now let's say five years later, 
my most popular design is this black jacket. And they're like, dude, that's fucking dope. Like, oh, there's what does this QR code go to? And it goes to you. And so pretty much people are marketing your design that you purchased. And so then they'll offer you because they want to have that. Oh. So you're making money off of what the brand is doing. So like with me, with the clothing I sell, there's going to be a digital QR code attached to it that you can just look at. Oh, look, there's an online version of it. And it's their most popular design that makes the most money. And so you could even take it a step further where, like, let's say I make this jacket, right? And then I create a token. Let's say it's called Cannibal Token. You just got to figure it out with, like, your uh, make sure it follows, like, the SEC guidelines and things like that. But pretty much people, what they're doing is, like, they're making a piece of clothing. They'll make a token. And then they'll make profits. Like, let's say I made a million dollars selling this jacket. Well, that equates to a hundred thousand token that you know you can get because you own the nft version of this jacket which makes the real life profit Mm -hmm. you can claim these tokens and you can then go on a uh a marketplace Mm -hmm. like um i think it's like coinbase or something like that and you can trade the token for usdt and then you can just cash it out and just do whatever you want so just by holding an NFT, I have a buddy that's making 150 bucks a day just by holding an NFT. He's just hanging out and just like, cool, made 150 bucks a day. Like he's just making him money every day without doing anything. That makes my heart skip a beat. Like just the thought of that. That's like, real. Like, yeah. I, cause I see TikToks and like th- there's these memes you see all the time. It's like, you know, yeah. I'm over here working a nine to five and I'm 28 and there's like 18, 19 year olds making, you know, 10,000 a day bro i have a 15 nfts and pictures and shit and i have like, a 15 year old homie man. that's already made over a million dollars i can't say his name but how old 15 he's from canada fucking canadians dude For i met real, him in new york bro. um but yeah he's uh he's passed a million dollars in nfts so i don't so you don't have to answer but like can you give us like a ballpark around like the most you've ever made and also the most you've ever spent Mm, the most I've ever made, like, all together or just in one transaction? In one transaction. Uh, not a lot. Probably, like, 5000 probably. And what's the most you've ever spent for something? For uh, Like, 4000 Fuck. And, 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 that's, that's just, and, and that's in hopes that it'll be worth something way more than 4000 mm-hmm. later on? Yeah. And how long do you hold on to it until, like, hold at on what, to point, it at what point does it become, like, a... Uh, a limited thing to where it's like people are like oh i heard about that like i want one like does it take years as soon as you buy it it, right (laughs) sometimes it takes hours i i'll give an example before i got here so this is kind of cool a way to think about it right so i bought a collection earlier today for 200 bucks i was like all right i'm gonna buy it oh i gotta take my dad to the hospital to go get checked yeah i'm gonna price it for 900 bucks boom Five hours later, it sells. So I made seven hundred bucks from the way to Phoenix, coming back and coming here on the podcast, and helped it with your dad mm-hmm. with the because I bought the right. Like, I feel like it just all like, like for real, like just pulled up, like oh cool. Made, I feel like it definitely all comes made down to bucks like, doing nothing. I don't know, man. I just understand it, and so it's like all right, cool. And then what like you just transfer that to your account? Hmm? You got to pay like two dollars or some shit, like a little fee. Uh, you pay no, you pay a little bit more, but <laughs> a little bit more than two dollars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, like, 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 like three hundred dollars. Nah, <laughs> well, it's like, like like depends on what it is, but like on ETH to transfer, it, I'll probably lose like seventy bucks. Yeah, it's like on Venmo when like someone sends you fifty dollars, and it's like you can either have forty forty nine seventy five right now or fifty dollars in two days. Yeah. It's like, bitch, hold the two cents. I don't give a fuck any more money now. For real, <laughs> that's bro. That's probably how they make all their money. No, everybody not- just giving the twenty five cents. Like, I got a million people giving me 25 cents a day. Yeah, it's like, I ain't got no money, but I got like 50 bucks in my Venmo. Like, imagine, I'll get 49 right imagine now. Imagine how much fucking this fucking platform is fucking OpenSea's making, bro. Oh, but fucking no, they're paying they're $300 down, fucking they're, gas fees and they're shit. They're making... God damn. They're making a stupid amount. Like... It's fucking nuts. I don't know, bro. I, I think NFTs are a cheat code. Like, it's so easy. Like, I think it's easy. Well, I mean, I can't say it because I do it every day. In time. But in like... Time. <laughs> don't be fucking lazy people fucking people watching this the honestly yeah, don't be lazy like me nah, for real no bro like for real bro like people that make <laughs> people make guys. excuses bro and i'm like that too like i'll i'll say something is hard <laughs> motherfucker i don't even spend five minutes doing it obviously it's hard because i'm not doing it it's one of those things where it's like <laughs> Like, I, like doing this podcast, right? So many people are, like, asking me all this stuff, like, how you do it? And yeah. I'm like, dude, it's little like, I know the level of education I have as far as, like, this stuff goes. Um, right. And I tell people, if I can do it, you can. And, and I get, like, uh, I, I hear that all the time. 
Like, people, like I, I use fucking iMovie when I edit these things, right? Maybe. People are telling me, like, you should use Photoshop, all these other crazy ones you could do, more graphics, all shit. And I'm like, cool. And I'm like, but it looks like too much. And then, like, a lot of people tell me, like, trust me. If I can do it, you can too. And I get that. Like, you tell people that enough to where it's like, I've heard that. Like, no. Yeah. And then you always think, like, no, trust me. I'm fucking stupid. Like, I won't get that, it. Bro, Deborah, you know me, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm an idiot, bro. I'm like, I tell people, I'm like, dude, damn, like. What the fuck am I doing? Like, so and it, I'm yeah. making it happen, bro. And I'm an idiot. Yeah. Like I'm, like I'm, I'm smart and I read a lot of shit. But I'm also like a dumbass. I hang out with my friends. Like I fucking smoke weed. I get drunk. Like, yeah. Like, you're like a normal we're person. We're gonna go for get drunk after yeah. this. Like it just, I hang out. And I'm like, cool. Like I understand this technology a little bit. To a I don't point, even yeah. understand it a lot. Like I understand it enough to make money. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, cool. And it's not even just about making money. It's so much better, bro. Like, once you get into it, you're like, going to make money. But then the communities are so dope. Like, the discords are cool. People are actually, like, hanging out. Like, they talk to each other. Like, I'm like, oh, this I is I feel dope. like, again, though, it all, it all, because, because, like, you, because he, he keeps saying that it's, like, super easy. And it's, like, it's really easy. It is, bro. Don't be lazy. And it definitely is. It is. I'm not going to lie. But I definitely come, I feel like it's, like, everything, bro. It's something that you have to be, like, super passionate about. Because it's art. And, again, that's why I, I feel like. When you look at it from a buyer and a creator standpoint, it's different. It's definitely easy to do it as a creator if you're passionate about art and you're passionate about what it is that you're doing. Because, again, it doesn't have to be art. It can be literally video forms, photography, NFTs can be fucking whatever. So if you're passionate about said shit that you're trying to put out as an NFT, then for sure as a seller, it's going to be easy. But I think as a buyer, it's definitely a lot easier but there's just a little bit more risk because you just have to make sure you have that capital in order to be able to you know try to make that profit at the end of the day you know mm. um but again it could be i feel like again you have to look at it it it, it can't just be within a couple of days because i feel like you have to look at it long term too because the metaverse still hasn't even been a thing completely like launch you know it's i don't yeah. i don't think it's even been like completely fully set out to where people no. can fully experience no, this it this is nothing this is we're like on the so that's what i'm saying the so it's Nintendo like super nintendo right now of NFT. so it's like the four thousand the four thousand that he said he's most spent was on like right virtual land mm -hmm. like for a piece of land right and it's it's like you're thinking right now people probably thinking like this dude spent four thousand dollars on a fucking on a on a map you know what i mean on a fucking little piece of land that you can put in a video game but it's like when you're thinking about it like yeah but it's four thousand dollars right now but you know in in three years when the metaverse is fully made and you know they're saying the only way you can get in this area is if you own a piece of land mm -hmm. and it's like all right well how can i buy one well you can but the only way to buy it is to pay you know twenty thousand dollars right now because they sold out you know three years ago when they were three four thousand yeah. dollars that's how you kind of had to look at it in in that form too you know is when you're buying it when you're looking at it from a buyer perspective you also have to think long term you know like when everything is fully set out and developed and everything is launched like what you're buying do you see the full potential of this like do you see as this is something that people are going to look at and think like fuck i need to own that you know to be able to participate in this community in the future you know so that's kind of a way you have to look at it is like is this something people are going to look for you know in the future it's kind of like you got to predict the future in a way it kind of you know what i mean but again that's when you're looking at big purchases like that but as far as like other pieces where you're spending like 800 dollars, i'm not saying that's not a big purchase because eight hundred dollars. compared to but compared to those big, big yeah. pieces 800 dollars can easily be flipped to like two three four k as long as you you're following the community you're going on discord you're seeing whether the hype is actually properly being built around you're seeing the roadmap you know you're seeing whether the people that are creating these things are actually going to fulfill these roadmap you know what i mean uh things that they're promising i feel like that's one thing that you have to take a look at as a buyer you know if if you're not if you're willing to invest those 800 dollars you you just you got to make sure that you're prepared to lose them though 100% oh, absolutely. well that's th i mean like me being someone that's not into it, I think the, the number one thing that gets me kind of like, I don't know if I want to do that, is it all goes down to, you know, I don't have NFT money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I don't, I'm not a big uh, gambler. Like, I don't really go to casinos too much. I can easily go to a casino with 20 bucks. If I'm, if I'm there an hour and I'm, and I say, I said, if I can set myself a limit, say if I say, okay, if I make 100 bucks, I'm out. As soon as I get 100 bucks, I'm out. So say if I hit 120, I'll bet that 20, but the minute it goes down to like 105, I'm easy. I can gash out because I'm like, okay, cool. Like right. I didn't, I only had $20. So that works for me. Right. But 
I don't do that a lot. So like, I always think like, do I? Because I always go into casinos thinking like, whatever money I'm going in there with, I have to realize like that's also money that I'm like I'm putting down fifty dollars that I'm I may come back out with zero. Right. And I and so I always say I don't have casino money. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. like NFTs, it's kind of like that. Like it's how can I put it? Like I I feel like most people that want to do it are people that like I said want to they they think oh I buy this. And then in a couple of days, I can sell it for this. Like, they want money, like, now. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Like, you're you're saying, oh, I'm going to buy this at $800 in three, four years. It's going to be this. I feel like a lot of, I don't know. Me specifically, I don't have patience for a lot of things. Oh, it doesn't take that long. You no, 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 no. But not I'm just all saying, the time. But I'm just saying, like, and, and, like looking at it like, like someone that's never done it before, that you assume, like, there's no way I can make, you know, I can buy something for 800 and make 15 k in, in a couple of days, you're like, that's probably gonna, it's probably going to take like, it's got to sit there for 10 years to build capital, like all this stuff. Like you think of right. the worst thing possible. And once I start throwing those things in my mind, I'm like, yeah, no, like I'm fine. Like I'll just go fucking sell some shit at a yard sale and make money that day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a lot of people want to make their money like how you did on the way there. You fucking sold something and made money for the hospital visit. Like a lot of people want that. And I think when you they when you put see, in the work into but as I'm saying, when you, you see people that. like like you they they're like yeah but he probably put in he probably had he probably has money uh, that no, he could bro, just throw away it, that's what i'm saying like a lot of people boy. think that yeah see, and that's what i'm yeah. saying like people don't know that that you, it, it's like you said you know big you know big risk big reward and yeah. that's what it is like and I, I think that's what scares a lot of people they're just like no you know what like I'll, I'll get to that when i have the money to just throw away because it to a lot of people Especially myself, I, I would see that as throwaway money. Right. Like I'm putting, I'm buying something for eight hundred dollars that I hope that all these people in this community, they're like, yo, you need to buy this. It's gonna be worth this. Right. Like, who the fuck are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what <laughs> hunch? Like, who told you this? Like, you know, I, I got an inside scoop. Like, I hear that in movies all the time. Like, okay, well, what's this inside scoop? Right, do they right. make it? Do, you know, do they know something I don't know? Like, I want to know everything because to me, that's eight hundred dollars. That like, bro, like that's money I've been putting aside for like Coachella <laughs> right, and right. now I gotta tell my girl hey we can't go to Coachella cause I just bought a fucking a, a picture JPEG. of a monkey yeah. <laughs> exactly. I bought a no, fucking yeah. monkey a picture of it and I'm gonna make way more and she's like wait so we're not going to Coachella it's like no I'm gonna make like 5,000 she's like when I'm like in 3 years she's like I'm breaking up with you you know yeah. what I'm saying like and, and like, and I think that's what scares a lot of people and they're just they snowball it they're like yeah but it, it, it could be this it could be this and they all think negative right 100%. and like i said a lot of people that want to get into this stuff they want to get quick they want to get rich quick and again i feel like you're uh, gonna get burned if you do that and i feel like again that's it i feel like again that's looking at it as from a buyer perspective from looking at whether you really want to make a shit ton of money like in the future but again that four thousand dollar jpeg that he spent on for that piece of land within two weeks you know was eight thousand dollars i mean i didn't mention that but within two weeks that flip that four thousand flipped to 8k you know so you, don't, a, you can make your money like that you know i'm just saying that like if there's certain pieces that if you want to like you can really hold on to them for you know two three years and they will literally they so can pay. They can it. pay your your family's you fucking. You know what I mean. So think, college for the rest of the fucking life. So a good way to think about it. What he just said is like, I bought it for four, but you bought it for eight. So you think it's gonna go ten x more than eight? And someone that buys it a board eight for two hundred thousand thinks it's gonna go way more than two hundred thousand. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what it is. Like everyone thinks, like, damn, this is that valuable. So in the future. And it really is gonna be like, bro. That. It's like it's literally like the next form of like like shoes it's and clothes and shit, bro. It's, it's like stock. it's like think about it. Those shoes when they came out, they were fucking a hundred and and eighty dollars, you know. And then somebody, you know, they sold out, and now they're not making them anymore. And somebody decided to sell them. Hey, I'm selling these for two eighty. It's like, all right, you know, fuck it. Like everybody's selling for two eighty. I'm gonna sell mine for two eighty. All right. Well, now they're a little bit older. Now nobody's making them anymore. And if you I don't just, buy these, you can't have them at all. Yeah. Like now I'm selling for three hundred. You know, years uh, later, now they're selling for even more. Uh-huh. So like it's it's kind of like the same aspect. You, like I that's what I think is cool, and that's why I like you know getting into NFTs because I'm into like the fucking whole hype piece shit, like all the fucking limited, you know, a bunch of shit. Yeah. So it's like I think it's cool because it's like. I want to own something that not anybody else can own. Yeah, everybody wants what the next person has, but it's like you don't realize like the person that has that, only they have it. Yeah. So and it's it, like you either buy it from them or you just you're never going to own it. Exactly. And it's a, and, I, and again, it's fucking the utility, bro. I feel like that's the important part that people don't pay attention to. It's like you're not spending $800 on just a piece of picture, you know, like you're spending $800 to 
be able to go and, and kick it with the fucking Nelk boys. You're spending $800 to go ahead and fucking and, and go meet Drake and, and have an interview with him or some shit. You do know you what have, I mean? Do you know you like the Nelk boys? They're okay. Um, I never I never really bought into it. Nope. I mean, it was just another young kids that drink beer and do stupid shit and do pranks and stuff. So, like, the whole YouTube world and myself, I'm not really into it as far as, like, YouTubers. I'm not really keen onto them. Like, as far as podcasts go, it's, like, podcasts, I don't see it as, like, a YouTuber thing. Right. But, like, all these YouTuber stuff, all the stuff they do, I don't really follow it too much. So, it doesn't really matter. And so, like, the Nalk Boys to me were just another YouTuber yeah. group. And even now, like... I, I listen to their podcast because their guests are interesting. Same, and I, I hate to and mention it, like I love Joe Rogan, but I don't listen. Like I don't listen to every episode he posts. I only listen to the. I only <laughs> listen so to many, the bro. episode if it's the if the guest is interesting to me. If there's someone that like oh like I, you know like stuff like that. Like and that's what sucks is because I feel like that's what my podcast kind of turning into. Right. Obviously, certain episodes get certain views, but it's like oh they're not watching it for me. They're watching it for the guests I bring on. Whatever. So that's so I see it like that. And with the Nalk Boys, I just never fell. I never fell into that. And I didn't. I don't even know how it's still a thing. Like I don't know how they're still. But they, they slowly went away from the whole like get drunk party thing to now they're like a young kids having owning a business and like they're doing very fucking good. They just had Donald Trump on, which I listened to and it was shitty. It was just him talking the whole time. Yeah. Like legit. There was a question and then just it. him. Uh, it's like. 50 minutes i listen to him at work that's why but it just seems like but like and bullshit. every episode is like that so i i've never been big fans of theirs no i'm not ha i mean i i'm not hating like they're cool they're cool guys i can see where like it'd be fun to hang out with them but at the same time like i don't i'm not following them or anything i think i like steve and that's probably about it i just like the, they the were at scott's the other day my brother went oh yeah yeah he got he got video actually he was trying to film a Sugar Sean. Yeah. And, he, and, and he grabbed yeah, yeah. his phone from him. Oh, no way. We got the video of that, too. He was in the, they were in the backseat of a car, and my brother was filming him, and he reached through the window and grabbed my brother's phone and started filming I himself. That. Yeah. I think it yeah. was on TikTok, oh, right? Wasn't it? Yeah, I think, I think it was I saw on, that. I think I saw oh, it on TikTok. A lot of people probably did that. But no, yeah. My, well, my brother's not Was it the one that he jumped in the pool? No. No, no, no. This was during the day. This was at one of the, the liquor stores they were at. Oh, okay, okay. He was like, film me, film me. When he passed the phone? Yeah. He's like, tell me I won't. Tell me I won't. <laughs> all right well <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh we've gone an hour so we're gonna take a break i'm gonna switch the batteries out take a piss so get some drinks and then uh we'll come back all right sure. all right i gotta stop my mic and what they're talking about you gotta have at least some shit that they can look around and be like yo this shit's fucking dope i didn't yeah, actually bro, pay i didn't even pay attention to the walls let me see what's over here like yeah, that's you gotta I'm have like an like a vibe and an environment that people are gonna be able to fuck with you know and yeah, i feel like I'm that's why like Logan Paul shit is dope, bro. Like, Impulsive? I, like, I, their whole setup just looks like they're fucking in an ESPN Sports Center. Right? <laughs> Damn, and honestly, I, I didn't like the whole table setup, but in time, like, as I get obviously a bigger space, I want to get a corner setup. I like the table setup. It looks more comfortable. Um, it, mics are easier to like to yeah to like set them up, and and it's and a, I feel it's like a it's good camera to, like, view. Face each other, right? Yeah, because you all. We're kind of like in this, in a sense, yeah, but exactly. we're like across from each other where we're having a conversation one on one. But at the same time, we're like open to where everyone can see everything. Yeah. But I also like this setup because it's more I feel like a little more comfier. Yeah. And as well as I'm all about like when I do an episode, I like to kind of dress up a little bit. Right, right. So I like to see the I like everyone to see the fit. So I like where there's no table, nothing covering it. Yeah. You can see what the, like their outfit. And usually that goes a long way with a lot of people. I agree. That's I cool. definitely think like little, like, like setups little like this, they, like they definitely yeah. give me like a, like an Ellen, closer? Ellen DeGeneres vibe. What happened? Oh yeah. Shit. Yeah. I definitely think like, it gives me like a, like a Ellen, <laughs> like a Ellen <laughs> vibe, bro. Like, Ooh. I get what you're saying. No, I'm saying like, it, like that, like, like when you have show. like that, yeah, like yeah. an interview show. That's why I like, oh, like yeah. Ellen Open. DeGeneres. Yeah. Like Oprah. I like this. This is dope. I would enjoy just be like, all right, let's kick it. It's going to the room, get high and fucking talk shit. Oh, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah exactly i think that that's like the the main thing when i look on like because i've i've been invited to be on like a it couple just podcasts smoke but it's sessions, like bro. i don't know smoke man. sessions be like hey bro we're gonna i'm just here recording let's fucking just talk. exactly yeah so that's it's like people when they invite on podcasts it's like it's either like very <laughs> formal or it's like that fuck, man. that's fucking did you hear the conspiracy <laughs> Bro. Oh, on TikTok, yeah, dude. I'm always it is a little Filipino, huh? Dude, I, know, I think so. Yeah, right. It's like two of them, bro. But it's funny because that's the thing we were talking about. Well, when we were on break, we were talking about it. Are we live? But is how? Yeah, yeah we're live now. Sorry. <laughs> I know he's all talking like nasty like, shit. Like, like, oh, dude, we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but yeah, like on TikTok, we were saying how it, it looks so easy to become viral or at least become very popular, and because um, yeah. you see, and that's the thing is like with TikTok, you see people with like 
they'll st- they'll be like just TikToker kids, and they have like one point some million. Right. But then that tran- like it's almost like it transfers to Instagram as like maybe eleven point some thousand. Yeah. It's exactly. never the it's never the same. Yeah. But like it, so that just shows me like it seems like a little bit easier, but it really isn't because there's time like I don't know what it is recently, but when TikTok first came out, I, I everything I saw was like. 1.4 thousand likes like shares views like everything was like viral stuff right, now right. do you ever come ac- like for me i come across a lot that are like 27 likes mm-hmm. but but i and that kind of fucks with it because you see like one where a lot of people like it and then you automatically like oh it's good too like i'll give it a like you right. see those ones that are 27 you're like it's pretty good but don't have a lot of likes and eh. but i see a lot dude that are have like 35 views or like very low and i'm like this is funny as shit or like this skit it's really good and like I always comment shit. Like I love yeah. I love commenting more than anything. Yeah. Like dude, I, the and comments that, are sometimes funnier than dude, videos. Yes, yeah. Dude, comments on yeah. TikTok are so funny. Like they just roast dude, people. Tell me you follow the liver king. Do you follow? Oh him? yeah. Tell Whoa. me what's the number one comment on every fucking video. I don't even Oh, uh, does the liver does the liver queen queef? <laughs> Yeah, I know that. So, I this is, at all his this is I, I know the difference of people who spend time in the comments more than on the actual videos. Because I'd be scrolling through the videos, and then I'm like, "All right, let me check the comments." <laughs> Yo, but but like I know you motherfuckers be spending time in them comments because I, like, I know at them, I didn't funny, know bro. that shit. Bro. They're, funny, they're funnier bro. than the videos sometimes, and and there's and they go hard in the paint. Like there's ones where it's talking bro, about we like look at like some fucking TikTok comments. Yeah, bro. go through right now as we're talking. Bro, go through and see if you can find bro. any. I love TikTok, but like there's so many times where. Um, and, and I love when like there's that comment like this comment section didn't pass the vibe check because it's like a, a sad God, depressing no, yeah, one yeah. isn't it Can't, sometimes like I'll be watching a video and I'm like I bet you someone's thinking the exact same shit as me and you click it and look through and be like yep this motherfucker knows so what I do is yeah. I, I'll, I'll think of a really good comment or like something like funny mm-hmm. and I'll scroll a few times if I don't see what I'm thinking then I'll post it but most of the time people are thinking what you're thinking especially if it's like that person looks like so and so it's like that person looks more than more like fucking spider-man and spider-man looks like spider-man like all this weird shit yeah and dude the comments they crack me up and that's why the best ones are um you guys ever come across when you're swiping on tiktok you get a, you get an ad yeah, yeah so there's i'll get an ad and it'll be like one for like these it'll be like a girl and like oh these are my new workout pants whatever and it'll, you can tell it's an ad it's like 20 percent off all this shit right some leave comments on and you read the comments and they're all like, what's that girl's at? Like, no damn, way. like, what's that? What's all that? What's that earthquake in the back? Like, oh, and it's just like an ad to sell something. And people are just throwing comments like it's a fucking TikTok, like legit TikTok. And it's so fucking funny. I, and I, I, I hate it, but I love it when there's like certain videos. Right. And as you're watching them, you're like, there's no way this guy either isn't getting flamed in the comment section or he turned his comment section off. Right. And sure, and enough, sure enough, you go to comments and it's like, this user has turned off the comments. And it's like, yeah, you fucking know what you're like the shit you're posting people are gonna like you know they're the like you know the when you're trying to get a reaction yeah 100%. yeah and yeah, that's yeah. why when i because like and that kills the video for me because i'm like it could be like a basic ass video but i'm like so many people are gonna go hard on this dude i'll click the comments and it'll be like this user turned off comments and it's like motherfucker but see that's the fucking beauty of tiktok bro is that like sometimes those people like even without having any comment engagement they'll still be getting like fucking 40 50k plus fucking likes and exactly. views on their videos and it's like and then there's other videos that'll have like their comments on and they still won't get that type of engagement because i just think it's funny bro all that TikTok shit is, is funny dude bro. It, tiktok is crazy it's bro like the best thing ever it's like watching well, tv on your phone bro, bro like all I'm I, to this channel in a short all time. i do is post thirst traps on my fucking tiktok dude, really you do all i do and it's crazy bro, because i've seen my mom <laughs> i recorded a video of, like my mom found caesar's like tiktok and she's like i was recording it, and my mom was like i said caesar Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, you can see her face the whole time. She's like, "I like said, you know, like how they like adjust." Yeah, they have to like adjust like, the phone Cesar. a certain way. Like, <laughs> like she kept on backing up every time. It's just <laughs> funny as fuck. Yeah. Except in the group chat. Yo, it's funny as fuck, bro. Because uh, the comments really do be out of pocket. Like, it's dude. I'll I'll post a TikTok right. It'll be something super sexual, like regarding like sex or whatever, and then. Boom. Next thing you know, we get this one chick that's super feminist in the comments that's like, Damn. why do you look at, you know, women as an object? And it has nothing to do with me, like, degrading women or anything whatsoever. Yeah. But it's it's crazy, bro, because I just see that one person comment that and I just already know, like, damn, you like you fucked up. Because then it's like, I'm just seeing, like, a bit, like thousands of comments. It's like people talking shit to that one person just because they made that one comment. And it's like, oh, fuck, yeah, man. 
Dude, so it's, it's nuts though because like I had this one video that had like eight million views, and I just had comment like literally every time I refreshed, bro, it was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments and likes. Exciting, dude. And bro, it's it's exciting, but it's scary, bro, because at the same time, like there's so many people commenting like some savage and like hateful shit, bro. Well, dude, and that's the thing is like I, I give props to people like you, you know, when like you post these things because like some are like your outfit of the day and some are like thirst traps, and in like. For me, like when I post stuff, I like to read the comments and they never affect me. Right, right. No, I just same laugh here. so hard. Same and sometimes here. sometimes I'm like, damn, homie, like that was a good ass one. Like the things they roast They're people on. Here. I'm just oh, like, yo, yeah. no. like and, and like if and when I like when you post videos, I, I assume I mean when you post TikToks, I assume like you're ready for the hate automatically. Yeah, Not 100%. everyone's gonna agree with what you're doing or, or your style, whatever. Like they like I, I see a lot when you post when uh, you're doing like outfit of the day and, and like so many comments like, dude, this guy dresses like everyone else on TikTok. Yeah, and there's, some, like, there's some people <laughs> that just be like straight up whack. Like this outfit's fucking trash. Like yeah. literally, I get it all the fucking time, bro. But see, the thing you do that I wouldn't just because. I could care less, but like yeah. when you reply to the the comments, just because like I wouldn't know what to say, and and like and that's the thing is some people they make a funky ass video and yeah. it's funny and you and everyone roasts them and then they reply to the comment and they make another video and it's like bro that didn't help you just made it worse like exactly. you're over here like you know like oh yeah people want to talk shit because I'm over here smoking weed like I'm I'm thinking I'm cool well guess what like I am fucking cool and it's like bro that didn't help you then you got a whole nother part two video of more comments where yeah. like dude go back to the other video or like you click on one video and it's and it'll be like um the ones I hate though is when it's like you have to go through certain videos to find what that one meant but sometimes that's why well, I like going in the comments yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck that and then the, and the next video is like I'm gonna tell you guys all in one clip <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, so you don't have to watch a part two ever again. Yeah, I like, actually like those. I those follow are cool, them, bro, honestly. And, I, and I'm like, thank you, dude. Like, yeah. like you can, everything There's you need to know. And everything. Yeah. But they do that. See, that's, a, that's the beauty of TikTok. That's how you get more followers is that's like, you know, for you, bro, like, it, us, like, people that, this is how you can grow on TikTok, bro, by, like, helping other people that want to get a podcast started how the fuck do i start where the fuck can i start these are I don't the like things. informative videos though no nah, but it, it could be a way to grow like a slide in my dms and then i'll me I, like a lot of people message me and like what do you use like and like no nah, but think about it though like this is how you could grow your 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 podcast you in general a lot of stuff you know what i'm saying like, like your tiktok yeah. could be based off informative shit right like you know how to get your podcast started you know I, get, what I, mean? I get what you're saying you want to yeah, watch yeah. my tiktok you know or my podcast you know here's the link you know link in bio for whenever i go live and then that's Boom, more like, like this branding, is how they, like whatever you're, you're thinking. But think about it. That's all TikTok is, bro. Is, is it not? Like Dude, you that's can even make that's it literally funny, what bro, TikTok is. Like, you don't like you don't care. Like you could even like it'd be funny to make like fucking condoms with like your fucking head on it or something like just oh, as dude. a joke. Marketing wise, I have so many ideas. Yeah, like, but they're not like, like funny, like, stupid shit. Yeah, but they're more of like shit that you would see in like uh, Spencer's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Like, but that's and, cool. And I, that's still I dope. think more like comedic ways. Yeah, yeah. you should. Yeah, you so. should. You should definitely think of like stuff that's gonna fit your niche 100. percent Yeah, because I want so like I, one of my first things is I wanted to make merch for the podcast. I hate that word. I want I wanted to make clothes. Like a clothing line for the podcast. I, right. I don't know about specifically, but like definitely, I, I want to start a clothing line. Mm -hmm. Like I know a lot of people do that, but like, and I, I'm it's legit. It's cool though, bro. I'm like waiting. everybody should. I'm, like, I'm, I'm waiting. on everybody yeah. doing it, bro. I don't know why I feel like a towel would be dope. Like a, a white towel with red text that just says "Slob on the pot." Well, no, dude. I thought of a like. Towel? So I want <laughs> a towel. <laughs> the fuck you get me thinking about it when you? <laughs> how do you think about this guy when I'm shaving my balls? And I want to shout out Manscaped. Shout out Manscaped, baby. Sponsored. Use promo code SLOP20, get 20% off, plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Why did do that in this podcast, like halfway through the podcast? Shout out to Alpha Brain. Alpha 2 gets you on the Mega O3 acid. I'm like, bro, because they're trying to get them back, dog. They just did it, bro. Yo, I just got paid for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I just You guys just did my ad read for me. Hell yeah. That's but yeah, I mean. bro. No, like, no, like, yeah. Like, so when I f I came out, I wanted instead of making like a t shirt, <laughs> <laughs> instead of making like a you t shirt, wanted do I wanted to make fucking crop tops for guys. <laughs> ah, the bro, guys funny. that work out that have like the abs and shit, like little cut off right yeah. here, and like, dude, that's perfect. Dude, I was <laughs> like, just telling, shit. I was just telling Brian his fucking brother. Time, yeah. I was just telling his brother. He went to go to fucking uh, what was it, El Centro <laughs> or Calexico, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you want to wear crop tops? 
<laughs> bro, crop <laughs> tops are fucking sick, Dude, he's bro. Like, That's my target. Johnny, Johnny, right Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp Texas, hold on. Johnny okay. Depp, Friday the 13th. Tell me <laughs> every girl does not get wet over that. Yes. Like the jersey? Tell, yeah. Like, yeah. tell me right now, bro. That's cool. Like, I'm just Yo, with you. It's personally, funny. I don't give a fuck about what oh men think God. I look like in it, bro. We talked about if that last a, episode. If a girl thinks I look good in it, I do not give a fuck, bro. I'll, well, I'll wear that shit all day. And personally, girls are like... They they like when guys are comfortable with their masculinity. But see, and that, and that's, like, that's honestly, another thing too is like a lot of times um, certain things like certain guys wear. Most most of the hate they're gonna get is from guys, right? Yeah, hundred percent. And, and then they're gonna be like, "Bro, you look fucking gay." Like I don't like that. And it's like, "Good motherfucker!" Like I ain't trying to get your attention. Like I ain't trying to fuck yeah, you. Exactly. You know what I'm like, so this this all started. This conversation started like. I had an episode with my other brother, uh, Sky. He's from LA, and uh-huh. he had an episode where he had his nails painted and shit. And, and, Dude, and I get mine. And most of the time, mine the other day. No, no, I'm talking like he gets color and everything. Like not just like a manicure. Like he gets color. Like fucking. Ooh, I'm gonna Dude, do yeah, black. Yeah. He's about to get like French tips what and shit. <laughs> He's gonna get the Cardi B get long the curl ones, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like most of, most girls that he hooked up with, or like some of the girls he hooked up with, were like nail techs. Right, right. They were like, man, like I would love to your nails, and like he came, they came over, did his <laughs> well, nails, and they and he smashed. And right. all these guys want to be like, yo, you're gay, That's like why you trying to be bro. like, yeah. And it's like, man, fuck you, like you don't know how many girls I smashed because of my painted nails. Your brother like, girls looking at this like. <laughs> He's getting married next week. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, dude. That guy is nowhere near getting married. <laughs> Fuck no, dude. He's, he's getting the his nails painted right now. <laughs> the wedding is off. But no, I get you. Like, I it's it's I definitely see that, bro. And it's like I said, like girls honestly like when a yeah, guy is comfortable I just, I just with think it's their. Funny. Yeah, I'm too fat for it, so I can't do it. But yeah, but absolutely. personally, I was thinking about it, bro, and I was like, bro, <laughs> like if I was fucking shredded, <laughs> I'm just a saying crop top fat, would look fucking buff, sick, bro. It. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I was thinking about it, and I was like, yo, a fucking shredded crop top, like would look fucking dope as fuck in yeah. the gym. Like so I'm not fun. even, I'm not even kidding. Like that'd be the best way to fucking straight up flex on somebody like in <laughs> oh the gym. God, like and and I want to do like a like a I like go with you the day you do. I don't know. I think I want to laugh. I just, I love you, but it's gonna be funny. <laughs> I want to do like an '80s like '90s style like a. Like a Randy Savage, like yeah. a ones? like a Hulk Hulk. No, no, not not see. Whoa, whoa, bro, I'm telling like you, a Hulk Johnny Hulk Depp, the Freddy Krueger <laughs> movie, the best fucking like a I yellow think is like shirt with example. like lightning blue letters and like some <laughs> crazy cool. and some crazy like font. You know what I'm saying? That'd like be cool it, merch. You should do that and then do lighters too. Everything that's irresponsible. Well, actually, there's some girl that follows me. Uh-huh. I think it's like called Stoner's Boutique, and she makes custom lighters. I was thinking oh, about shit, that. Bro. Yeah, dude, dude, lighters bro. are a big. Like yeah, I'd stuff. buy it. Yeah, dude, <laughs> I'd buy it. That fucking condoms with like the yeah the condoms. bro. You can even make custom fucking ashtrays. I want one for myself. Yeah. Yeah, they sell they sell ashtrays. Like, there's I people in you that make them. Dude, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fucking dope, man. This yeah, little city. God. There's so many like you creative can get people. A slob on the pod. I know somebody who can get you a slob on the pod holster, bro. Bro, there's a guy. On Facebook Marketplace, I don't know if you just moved here, but he makes carpets, custom really? carpets. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, made yeah. a backwoods need a carpet, one, bro. You dude. Need a wouldn't that be sick? Like yeah, shit like that. And I, one, one. and I can make one, and I could, and I can make like another carpet, one. Bro. Yeah, sell like two hundred bucks. Like I only have two of them. I have one, and you have the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, yeah no, wouldn't yeah. it be funny even <laughs> making cool. like Pornhub jokes or like um, commercials with that shit? Like it'd be funny if you can get your ad in front of a Pornhub commercial instead of like the jerk mate. Dude. Okay. So hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so did you know what it was gonna be? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you know what I'm real. talking about? Yeah. Of course. Are you alone? Talking about. Are you I alone? knew where this was going. <laughs> you guys ever see the one where the ogres fucking like the blonde chick, the cartoon one? Make you come in five <laughs> seconds. Yeah. So, I'm like, no, you won't. You don't need a partner. <laughs> I seen the Thanos and fucking Black Widow. Thanos. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Or like Stewie fucking like the mom and shit. Yo, like <laughs> dude, it's all so weird. Shit, it's a random as fuck. Huh? Oh, it always yeah. pops up. A little box at the bottom. <laughs> and I always end up with the virus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bro, you got to go on your iPhone and go to the private. For real. I don't know if that. I don't know what it does, bro, but it makes ever, me feel safe. Have you yeah. Ever like shown someone this was done it. Where you show someone like, hey, bro, look, and then the safaris on your fucking you private on the board, <laughs> yeah. bro. I did that one to my mom, bro. I was like, it's mom. all dark. <laughs> oh shit, bro! I accidentally opened up my phone one time in front of a fucking old coworker, like. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but I was like, she, I didn't know she was right next to me, but I was on my phone and I just fucking opened up my phone and it was a fucking dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? And I looked and dude? she <laughs> saw. Yeah, leaning over the bed. That's the one he was you know like watching. You know like she I saw, away? though. That was the worst part is that she fucking saw. And I you was know like, that guy yo, died? What the fuck? What? 
No way. Yeah, the meme with the dude with the, well, the dude he, with like he just is like the third leg. Away. He died a long time ago. He was like a porn star. I think he was like a f- ex football player or something in college. For real? Then he became a porn star. That's funny. Where he became an icon. But he died. Yeah. Uh, Actually, from what? what? Some comedian. I don't. Rem- I maybe like cancer, some sickness. I don't remember. Oh, okay. But like um, this comedian that I, I had listened to, he was saying that he had done a show. And he had merch, and he had merch with that guy's face on it. And the family contacted him and was like. They didn't want to sue him, but they're like, oh, that's like, you know, my dead husband or my dead father or whatever. Like, right. And so he's like, oh, man, like, I'm sorry. So he and they're like and so he was like, how about this? How about I sell him and I just give you guys the money I make from him? Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah. So uh, he would sell sudden, merch. Uh, I know. Uh, right. All of a sudden, now it's all of a sudden, yeah, it's yeah, cool. Yeah. I yeah, it's fine. He would he would have liked that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> definitely. But yeah, no, it's like a little side thing. But no, man. Um. Yeah, p- porn's got loopholes for days. I thought YouTube was bad. Dude. Shit, look at OnlyFans, bro. OnlyFans is dope. I spent some. Spend OnlyFans is too much. I. Uh, it's sick. It's like I, if $3 I was single, bro. Nudes. If I was single, I'd have an OnlyFans, bro. Do you know how many fucking DMs off my TikToks? Yeah. What would you I do have? though, as a guy? I'd, I'd honestly, bitches. I'd, I'd, I'd fuck girls, and I'd probably ask them if it was okay for me to post the videos. And if they gave me the okay, as long as their face wasn't in it, I would literally just post that. There's dudes that do that. You know? What yeah, I mean? that's true. There's dudes that fucking only literally fans do that. OnlyFans is dope. I, dude, imagine getting sponsored by OnlyFans. Bro, oh, I would love that. Imagine, like, some of my videos get, that. like, oh, some of my videos get up to, only like, 500k views, me. bro. Imagine if an just, NFT. like, a percentage of those 500k views just go into my fucking TikTok See? account. So go to the link in the bio. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Go click on that $20 Yo, hold on, hold on. a month subscription. Just like, just that's crazy, bro. Hold on. Okay, real quick. On TikTok, when you come across, like, some girls, like, slutty ass page mm-hmm. like she's obviously intrigued. doing shit it's like you know you know do you not go to her profile to see if she has the only fans uh, no no, no she look- has a link tree yes thank yeah, you yeah the minute you see that You're link like, tree yeah, you already no, know you already know you know yeah. spicy content you already know oh, every, time. Yeah. And it's every like, time every time every time and it's like and i almost like most of them it's like okay like you know for sure this person's got only fans but it's like a little game i play with myself like i'll come across one i'm like She's a little slutty, but she's a little conservative. Uh, does she? Yeah. And then, yeah. No, no. And then what you do is you go, you go on her thing, and then you see like her Instagram, and the then good go stuff is in the Instagram. Click on that. That's when you know. Yeah, but hey, but if she don't have the Instagram like link to her her TikTok, and I gotta like type it in, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, no. So just a heads up if you guys have a link tree, but it's on your Instagram, and you don't have the little Instagram tab on TikTok, and I can't press it, and it takes me to your account. I'm not gonna do it's it. It's just too much work. Yeah, too I, much work. I, I can't. I gotta remember, the, you know, how many eyes is in. You know, Haley, like all this shit. Like, yeah. it's fucking insane. Haley, <laughs> <laughs> underscore, why, 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 why? Is it an exactly. underscore? Or was it a dash? Like, dude, what was it a one or, you know? For real. So much shit. It's but funny. yeah. But dude, every time I see that, I'm like, it's funny because everyone, it. I feel like everyone lives the same lives, just in different, like, oh, you do that shit too. You do that yeah. shit too. You know what I well, mean? Well, that's the thing is like, that it w- that's one of those things where you th- it's you feel like oh only i not like not like you feel like only i do this but you're but when you start talking around and you start realizing like oh shit i'm not the only one yeah i love those moments me too bro. because it's like you do the same thing like we think the it makes same you way feel a little bit more you're sane. just a human you're like yeah bro the same shit. yeah but i but i think people like us we're the ones that say it out loud yeah and those yeah. people yeah. in the That's background those people 100%. in the background that are like i do that too and then they're they come out and it's like it, because of you, because you're like, hey, you ever do? You never go on their TikTok and you see the link tree and, and you know that you know they got the spicy shit and you're like, yeah, I do. I think the same thing. And it's like, yeah, like, see, and it's, just, it's, it's like, funny, oh, dude. See, going back to my fashion shit. That's why I. That's why like how you said like. I, I like you you and me are the same bro where we don't give a fuck what other people think about us like we're gonna wear what we wear I don't give a fuck what, whether you think it's cool or not you know what I mean and, and, and I don't know about you but for me it's not so much confidence it's just like I just don't care it, yeah. that's what it same boils here. down to 100% I just don't care like I post what I like yeah. and obviously there's a good enough amount of people that are on board with what I'm doing which right. is that's cool but if you weren't that's also cool yeah exactly but see going back to that point is like that's why I like make those videos as far as like you know me saying like I don't give a fuck like this is why i do what i do it's not necessarily to give them an explanation because i don't give a fuck what they think exactly. it's more to give like the other people that want to be like like me and have the same confidence as me to to do what i do you know mm-hmm. to be like oh you know what this is why he does it this is his point of view of seeing it you know like fuck like if he's able to do it this is i should be able to fucking do it too i can voice my bro eyes. because yeah. i i'm not wearing them right now but i've been wearing pearl necklaces right like like lately right and, and it's just like a, a trend that's been coming up like in, in fashion in general right it's not necessarily like and i had no idea it was a gender fucking 
a gender thing to to wear pearl necklaces. I didn't. I didn't. What do you mean? Like it. only girls could wear? I, pearl? I guess. I guess only girls fucking wore wore uh, pearl necklaces. I had no idea. I've been working at Chili's and literally, it's mainly old couples, of course, that tell me. But they usually be like, "Yo, I you're wearing, you're wearing just a pearl like necklace." That. And <laughs> not not gonna lie, when it's the dudes that ask me, they're weird about it. But when it's the girls, they obviously give me compliments oh, and they're like, "I really like that. Like that looks really good on you. Like yeah. you're pulling that off so well." And I'm just like, yo, like, what the fuck? And they but take out their turquoise. <laughs> they but got then, the same one. <laughs> but I've had, like, two, like, kind of gangster yeah, dudes, Kay. like, come up to me at the bar. And they're like, yo, are you wearing a pearl necklace? And I'm like, yeah, like, yeah. Well, it's good. I know. It's like, apparently, like, it's a girl thing to do. But <laughs> Swear them. I like them. No, yeah. What about, and it, like, what about it? Bro, oh, no, no, it looks nice, bro. It's oh, a okay. cool thing, though, because they're awesome. just like, they're accepting about it. And they're like, yeah, I guess times have changed, right? And I'm like, Damn, yeah. I'm calling I, you out, bro. How the fuck are they calling me out? Like, times have fucking changed. Like, you're not, it's not, yeah, you know, I don't gotta fucking wear dickies below my fucking ass to think I'm a fucking man, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, it's you know, funny. it's like, I, I don't know, bro. It's, I you think, think that they're gonna be like old ass adults and our kids are gonna have like the iPhone 25 and they're like, Dad, you're not a fucking zombie or yeah. something. It's, it's like zombie. a new, <laughs> it's like, it's like everything, <laughs> a like random ass fucking technology. What the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, Dad, bro. you don't know, you fucking gotta scan your eye. <laughs> 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 like, oh my God. Dude, I got a funny story about that. that so, funny. um, my uh oh my girl's little brother isaac he um told his dad that when he got the new iphone and it like face reads it to unlock it uh-huh. he told him that it only wor- it works better if you make a funny face because then when other people try to hack oh into it God. they they don't know what face you made so dude i go That's into the funny. so i go into my girl's house one time and uh in the corner of my eye i see dude he's like the dad's looking at the phone and he's just like and he keeps doing weird faces and i'm like and i'm like why is he why is he no make faces way, like that and no, i like no. i caught it and she's like and then she was like i don't know he always does that like he just makes weird faces i think he's just trying to be funny and then her little brother's like oh no i told him when he first got the phone that the only way he unlocks it is at, like better security is if he makes a funny face so he was just oh, and like little did he know he could have just stared at his phone and unlocked it this motherfucker is like this old dude just like making goofy ass faces Yo, <laughs> trying to remember what face it was to unlock his phone <laughs> Had you recorded that moment, bro, and put it I on TikTok, wanted to. that would have went viral, bro. Dude. That, like you would have went instant viral off of just I don't, that, but bro. Like, and that's the thing is, like, I have so many. I would have commented viral ticket here, <laughs> bro. But see, but that's something like it's <laughs> even the comments you would know. But see, that's the thing about TikTok; it's recycled content, bro. Like you don't even have to be the first person to do it. You just got to make it better. You're, you're like you know what or he did, better right? Doing it, yeah. You knew what he did. You can easily go to your Sometimes tia. You can go to your fucking bro. You can go to your grandma who obviously doesn't know how the fuck the new and iphones work ass. and tell her like yo no no this is, it. This is how it works this. and fucking yeah. record the whole process upload it and it's like boom instant fucking 20 million imagine views. i make it like super harsh right just like grandma no you gotta make a funny face and she doesn't I'm like you fucking idiot you're not yeah. the man you fucking dumb bitch <laughs> bro that'd be funny bro <laughs> she's like oh give me her violating grandma <laughs> okay. you fucking idiot you believe <laughs> this get us cafe <laughs> I'll be nice to you. That'd be funny, bro. I would love that. That'd be funny. Nah. Yo, that'd be I hilarious, be bro. But you're going to get canceled for a little bit. <laughs> dude, oh, dude, I'm trying. Dude, dude, if I get canceled, like, you should have I made a shirt. it. <laughs> you should have a shirt that says cancel me. Cancel me? I'm pretty yeah. sure there's like cancel culture, like bar. merch. Like people make fucking. Yo. People try to capitalize on everything. But no, going back to the whole Pornhub thing, I had this marketing <laughs> idea where I wanted to take advantage of all platforms posted on Facebook, Instagram. I wanted to post my episodes post? on Pornhub. Can you do that? I don't know. But what I wanted to do... So have a bitch pull up, show a titty, and leave. So, like the, so like, the cover photo would be, like, some fucking Pornhub shit. But then... And then the description would be, like... The, obviously, the name's all on the pod. That's so dope, like, okay, bro. The, the title kind of goes... That would be sick as fuck. Description, you know, like, three, you know, three homies get together... Talk, oh my to make god it, the name description it would sound crazy. dirty and then they click on it they're like oh. bro you should name your youtube videos like that bro that's ultimate marketing uh, i don't well i don't but i don't that know would, yeah but no, like see, but, no oh, i don't <laughs> yeah i know you can't do that on <laughs> youtube dudes, bro i don't slob. think you can do <laughs> sloppy on toppy the <laughs> with the three dudes <laughs> what the fuck Sl- sloppy topics with three dudes <laughs> Hey, sloppy topics. You should make that <laughs> sloppy a, topics. You should make that sloppy, a, to- yo, make sloppy, that sloppy a, topics. Sloppy like topics would be a uh, fucking. What is that cool. thing called? Uh, like a section of your podcast. 
Yeah. Oh, like a like segment. A, yeah. Oh, there you yeah. go. Sloppy oh, topics. Sloppy <gasps> topics. Bro. Yo, bro. we're, yo, <laughs> we're for 30 head. minutes, you just talk about fucking sloppy ass shit. Oh, raunchy yo. as shit. Bro, you should, like, that'd be funny, yo, bro. what's the craziest fuck. shit you've done during sex? Damn, I guess it's a good <laughs> It's sloppy topics, bro. We'll, we'll start sloppy topics right <laughs> now. <laughs> Let's we'll call it actually to, we gotta, to shorten it. fucking, like, let me ease into this moment. No, no, like, we'll, we'll call Did call you ain't yesterday? We'll shorten topics. We'll call it sloppy tops. All right, bet. Sloppy, sloppy top, sloppy topic. Slop, sloppy top. Damn. Bet. Sloppy tops? Yeah. That sounds, cool. That'd be, that Dude, sounds like a cool part of the dope. show. We're like, all right. Yo. What's up? Right, this so is sorry. the segment, uh, Sloppy Tops. If they tops. don't give head, honestly, it's whack. What should I call it? Slop one. Tops. <laughs> slop Tops. Dude, that's the thing. There's so many fucking different things you could call it. It's, just, it's a good. Is it cool with you two if I use it? Because I'm going to use it. Dude, I don't give a fuck. That's be dope. You don't have yeah. your podcast yet, so I got to I gotta take advantage. <laughs> Bro, no, I'm crazy. <laughs> hey, copyright right now. No, the NFT funny. guy's got his fucking lawyer on deck. He's like, hey, copyright what I just said or no? You get a fucking... Before he does. You get a door on the bell and it's like, you've been served. Nah, oh, that would be cool though, bro. No, fucking slop tops. You've been served for slop tops? Slop tops? That'd be I fucking sick. I thought slop topics was cool. I think they're both pretty sick. What is Actually, it? Slop tops? I'm gonna write well, slop tops. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I have uh, an idea. I'm gonna sloppy write toppy. I'm gonna write it whoppy down. Sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> whoppy sloppy. The fucking... Uh, what does everybody call it? The walkie sloppy toppy 3000? The walkie sludge. <laughs> Walkie <laughs> slut, dude. Those fucking videos. All right, so I want to go back to NFTs, NFTs to end it. Um, this is a big question. What kind of fucking podcast was this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came here to fucking fun, learn. <laughs> it's a slap on the fuck. Like, I came here to learn. <laughs> There's got to be a part where they got to rest their minds after all the fucking NFT. Bro, bro, see, yeah, and that's the cool God. thing about like me that I was gonna say like about what you do. Like, so my brand, like the Crypto Cannibal Club, like it's an NFT project, but like I try to make it like super chill and cool. Like, like I tell people, like, dude, I smoke, I drink, I hang out. Like, I have friends. I'm a dumbass. Like, you're a normal person yeah, making like, big money. Bro, yeah, like, and then I, like, I like to, and I think that's why a lot of people relate to what I do because it's like, oh, it's just a fucking dude. It's like, and I tell people, like, like a lot of people look up to me, like, oh, it's Alan, the fucking creator. I'm like, bro, I'm like your homie. Like, it's like you just bought my project, right? It's like because any anybody, even my friends can buy it. It's like it's literally just my friends and the group of people that I'm associated with, pretty much w- trying to come up together. Okay, and that's that's kind of what we do, and we just like hang out, we talk stupid shit. So for me, it's like. I don't give a fuck. And no, it's funny because nobody in the NFT space is going to do this. Mm-hmm. They're not going to be like, my name is reputable. And I don't give a fuck. Like, what the fuck? Like, live your life. Have fun, I feel like bro. everybody like, keeps... Fucking, they care too much about their name, their reputation. Well, I mean, that's well, important. That's, yeah. But at the same time, it's like... I don't know. I just feel like... I feel more free to like do whatever I want because like I mean you guys already You're, know you what's at up. the end of the day. I feel like... And if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. And if you don't, it. then cool. There's someone that you can fuck with. You know? Well, that's why. That's why. Like with the podcast, there was always like a thing of me where I was would always see like Joe Rogan or the Nelk Boys, and, I'm, and they see all the and I they, they get all these views and, and everyone likes them, and I'm like, well, they already have everyone. But right. then I, I I go back to like, no, they just have they found their their they group. found their lane yeah. of 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 people that fuck with them, and it's it's a that. lot that's of people, true. and I'm like. You know, the people that listen to them, probably about 50% also listen to Joe Rogan. Yeah. So it's not like, that's the thing about podcasts is like, just because you're a big fan or this one is a huge like hit of a podcast, doesn't mean that everyone's only listening to that one. Right. They just so happen to tune into that one so much. But there's also other ones they listen to that also are big. Like there's huge podcasts like in New York, like um, like these like underground rappers that are fucking hilarious. Really? And they're and like if if I was if, you know if someone if I was to tell someone they're like I've never heard of that but it's like they don't know that they get like one point some million views every time they post an episode they have these crazy like sponsors like they make big money but like and I can easily go down the street and, and people are like I have no idea what that is I don't I've never heard Who of that. Who do you think uh, should start a podcast? Like who's uh, someone that you think is hilarious? You'd be like, bro, this guy should start a podcast. Like famous or not? Yeah. Oh, famous. Do both. Do both. Say, like, somebody that you know personally, Dude. like, somebody that you know in the community that you think should start a podcast and somebody that's well-known. Someone in the community. <laughs> Who are people going to know? The, yeah, I know. Bro, it, you, you'd it's, be surprised, it's bit, though. Like, I feel like you must so you know, well Jonathan right. from we, talked about <laughs> we talked about this last time. No, <laughs> <Not laughs> motherfucker, owes me money. Dude, sometimes there's, like, I see, like, crackheads or, like, oh homeless people. God. I'm like, dude, they would have. a podcast? Dude, if oh I saw homeless people, I see homeless people. bro. Bring one on the podcast. Bro, there's a dude that does that. Really? In LA, he interviews homeless like people. Like, like that sounds like, like, like bring one on the podcast. No, he literally <laughs> interviews <laughs> he interviews homeless people <laughs> and crackheads, bro. I swear to Ooh. God. Some guy That sounds sketchy. I would be scared. Dude, he literally interviews them, just gets fucking what the what happened to them in their life that led oh, to no, the point was, that they are. Oh, the one in Phoenix? Is that the one? No, no he's in, in LA. That, like how old are you? <laughs> and I'm like, bro, damn. Like No, that guy's a fucking weirdo. That guy's a fucking weirdo. Yeah, that guy's a weirdo. He walks around in Phoenix, he's like 
who are you and what are you doing out here? And the kids are like fucking like, <laughs> I'm, I've been shit. out here for seven days. I'm like, damn, bro, that's fucking help. If you're not helping them out, like, nah, that's yeah. So I had this other Kinda marketing weird, idea. I'm pro- I feel like I'm giving away a lot of my nah, ideas that I'm not it. it's jumping on. Like, bro, who cares? Like, and that's that was that thing too, bro. If people are gonna do it, they're gonna do it. Most people are lazy and they're not. And you could say, yeah, like me. we can both say the same you idea. <laughs> <laughs> you could say the same idea, but you no can execute act it on differently. It. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So I had this idea where I wanted to make, like, I don't know, like 200 Slob on the Pod sweaters, right? Like, say the summertime or the, the wintertime mm. when it's really cold out. Bro. And I want to, and I'm not going to film it. I'm not going to give them money. I'm just going to give these people a sweater, and it's all going to be Slob on the Pod merch. But, like, cheap stuff. Enough to keep them warm, but, like, the graphics are going to be, like, whatever. And I want just to throw them, or, like, give them to people, like, all these homeless people. And eventually, like, I want people going through Yuma being, like, what? I see all these homeless people with, like, slob on the pod sweaters. Like, what is this? And they, like, look it up and it's, like, oh, it's a podcast. And it's, like, oh, this dude That'd just gave us. Cool, right? But it's, like, and it's, these like. good ideas. That's what I'm saying. And it's, like, I like I don't have the money to give them money. I don't have the money to. Oh, you're gonna give him sweaters? Why don't you give him a house? Like, bitch, like this is the best I can do. Bro, I'm trying. Are fucking bro. Bro. always right, bro. I did a, I did a thing where I. Why well, uh, give him food? Why don't you give him bro. shelter? It's like, bitch, I can barely give myself shelter. I helped, uh, <laughs> I helped a homie with like two grand to get like a hotel and like, you know, a place to stay because he was struggling because he didn't have like a home or anything. And then some of the comments were like, they were like, you only gave him two grand. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you give them two grand then. Yo, I was yeah, like, God damn. Bad, like, people are going to. That's a funny thing, though. Like, people are going to. You could do anything. Like, you could solve cancer, and someone's like, Why didn't you solve heart attacks? Why didn't you solve AIDS? Yeah, literally. Like, yeah. Bro, like, literally. People, bro. It's funny. So, like, with that in mind, like, do whatever the fuck you want. Exactly, people are going to hate people, on you people, anyway. Exactly. So, who gives a fuck? Like, enjoy your fucking life. Yeah. Exactly. 100%. Yeah, the message is simple. It's a fucking video game, bro. This is a fun. This is like. And, you know, even, like, talking about shit like that, like, I feel like that's not even talked about. Like, like we, we literally, like, not to get all deep and philosophical and shit like that, but, like, we literally, like, bro, we're on a fucking rock. And I think, obviously, like, when you're faded, you get more shit like that. But, like, for real, think about it. Like, you're on a fucking rock in the middle of fucking black space. Right. And people are like, I got to go to work. And, like, we stress out about shit. And we're like. Bro, we're a fucking creature on the fucking this earth, and we gotta do, we got all to experience all this crazy shit. Yeah. And we're like so tripping on this thing that doesn't really matter, right? Like, even for real, like, you know, it's cool to have like a Tesla and all this cool shit and stuff like that. Yeah, tell us about it. He's like, I still have nightmares at night. Like, I had oh, gas prices for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, bro, when you die, you're gonna die, bro. Like, if you get to do that, that's dope. But it, yeah. if you don't, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, at the end of the day, you yeah. have fun, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna remember the test when I died, but I remember I got on a podcast with my friends. I got high. It was funny, hey. and I had a good time. And now it's time to go. Yeah, like that's what you remember, and that's like the point. You know, I'm trying to come across. But either way, that test go crazy when you get put. The- <laughs> 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 and he's like, but, but hey, on the yeah. side note. <laughs> Hey, Bury me with my Tesla, bitch. Alan, Alan's like, like, what's gas? Man, <laughs> yo, but the back shots in the Tesla uh, go crazy. Uh, I haven't done that yet, bro. <laughs> if you're hearing this. <laughs> bro, it's got to... Uh, it's funny Tesla, because... I haven't broken it in yet. Damn. Does it drive itself? Yeah. I got to pay for it, though. I'm not going to pay for that. It's 200 bucks. That's the upgrade? <laughs> like a month? Bro, that, that, like that's a hurting you? Like a month or $200 extra. <laughs> I can't extra. see myself spending that much money. See, I can't see myself spending $200 to upgrade my Tesla, but I can see myself funny, spending bro? $300 you know on a uh, $300 the gas other fee. Day, the other day, I had to pay my rent. It's like 800 bucks. <laughs> that's it? No, just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hey, I'm trying well, to sound rich. That's the half of it. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> no. That's for the backyard. No, but so I was paying the rent, right? It was only 800 bucks because I split it with my brother. And then I was thinking, I was like, like it was hurting me because I was like, oh, fuck, 800 bucks. And then I was like, bro, you just bought a fucking picture for 4K the other day. And it doesn't, like, if for me, it's it's easier to buy a picture for 4000 and, like, not even think about it twice. Than to, than pay, to rent pay rent, rent bro. bro. Yeah. Than to live in real life on I a shelter. Why? Why? Yeah. Hey, it's you go sleep outside thing, in the bro. cold with your fucking <laughs> That sounds like a lot of gambling people. No, bro, <laughs> When they real, lose their it's, house. It's fucked up, but it's for real. I'm being dead ass. <laughs> like, only NFT people would know, so you don't understand. No, ah, yeah. Hey, 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 it's an NFT. If you know, you know. You know where my NFT people at. There's like three no people way. in there. Yeah! yeah. People in the back. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck, though. Give me my dollar bills back. No. 
No. <laughs> you should make a, sh- bro, make a slob on the bottom and be like, fuck NFTs. That'd be funny, bro. And I would rock it because it's just funny. And then on the back, hashtag, uh, what is it? If Buy you know, my you know. NFT, bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> on the back, yeah. Or put hey, N- contradictory shirt. Yes, bro. Yo, See, that'd, be NFTs on the bro. Back, that'd be funny. Scan my QR code. Bro, Yo. yes. You would make a killing. See, that could be like your whole brand, bro. And I think you can, and a lot of people would relate Where to that. Where the fuck's my pen? I need to write this shit down. For real. <laughs> like, a lot of people would relate to that. Like, like, see, that's a cool chill vibe that people are like, bro, I don't, I don't give a know. fuck about oh, this God. life and it's funny. I probably got and one over here, though. Like, a lot of people can relate to that type of shit, bro, and you would find that audience. Because like, it's like, oh, that's funny. I'm going to go watch it because this was just like me. It's kind of like for me and you, and like, you know, this is the first time we meet, but it's kind of like I'm just kicking it with my homies and we're just talking shit and it's funny. Yeah. And you can find people, like, you can make that a thing. You can make it a brand. Like, like yeah. you could even do like shirts that are funny as fuck like you know like wh- what's a uh, well supreme has a lot of stupid ass shirts bro like to be completely honest like i have a shirt that says bro, supreme even fuck having you having a shirt that says fucking lazy on the top like in the front bro just god damn you, lazy, you, bro. you really think this motherfucker is lazy on, huh bro no, <laughs> you, you really cool, think he's lazy it's the slob goes right god with that bro. like someone that doesn't <laughs> <laughs> capitalize L A Z Y apparently. Bro, well, I'm just saying. For <laughs> <That's nobody laughs> when I came in, I saw that shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> bro, why do Mexican parents think that shit? Huh? Like, did you clean your room in the backyard and the front yard? I'm like, dude, my grandma's not gonna fucking come and look at the fucking hedges and the fucking cupboard. Like, <laughs> dude, I do that shit. This is my place. I do that shit with my girl. Like, she's like, oh, people are coming over. Let's go. We gotta clean the room. We gotta clean our restroom. I'm like, why? They're gonna fucking sleep on our bed. We have a party, but they're going to fucking st- go in our room. The door's going to be closed the whole time. Why the fuck that room got to be clean? Bro. <laughs> Makes no fucking sense. I be thinking the same shit. Bro, talk about a funny trip, bro. Let's talk about that. Like, have you had, like, a funny-ass, like, high or trip that you're, like, really tripping balls? Not really. No? I, so, I, I'm I'm very, like, mellow yeah, with everything. Like, nothing really freaks me out. Like, when shit happens, I'm kind of just like, damn, that's crazy. So, like, when I would get high or something or like when I'd start to get those effects, I'm like, oh, it's it's because I'm high or it's because I took this drug. So yeah. and I constantly tell myself that. So whenever I start to trip, that trip goes away easily because then I'm just like, oh, it's because I just did drugs. Exactly. You know, so See, I'm one of those people. I'm not I don't bite into the that's such a good oh, mental fuck, state like, to be in, though. Yeah. Like you like people start stressing or people start getting like yeah. anxiety from like smoking. It's like. Bro, you're feel they're like, like you're oh, just high, like, bro. Yeah, they're like I feel like I feel like this, and it's like yeah, because you smoked weed. That's why. You feel, and they're like, no, but like I can't feel my heartbeat. It's like because like, uh, you smoked uh, weed. I can't. Like, I can't breathe. I'm bro, I, I feel like that, I can't breathe. I had that Dude, happen, bro. This guy too faded, bro, bro. This guy one time got so faded with some chick one time. He thought she was a fucking oh, demon. Oh no! Bro, you're gonna want to put this no, on your fucking. You're gonna want to put this on bro, on Instagram right now, bro. Oh, Who God. cares? No one even knows who this bitch's name is. I don't even remember her name so it's even better bro bro one oh my time God. i was like i was in phoenix <clears throat> and uh this i was i invited a girl over to smoke and shit like that so we smoked and then we we're like oh let's go eat i was like yeah for sure and bro tell me why i'm like so faded bro I, like i look at her bro and i'm like and i like and it's like the high thought when you get in your head you're like i was like and you know like when you have when you're when you're sober and you have intrusive thoughts but you don't think about them you're like all right whatever That's like dumb. that yeah. thought like it passed yeah. by right but when you're faded, you're like, oh, wait, what was that, right? So I was like, I was faded. I looked over at her, and I was like, in my head, I was like, that bitch looked like a fucking demon or some shit. And I said that shit. And then from then on, I was like, what if she's a fucking demon, bro? Like, <laughs> I started tripping, bro. I was like, I was texting these fools. I was like, bro, bro, this bitch is a fucking demon. We were, we're all in a like, group chat, right? Like, oh all the homies and God, shit. Oh, my God, bro. I was like, bro, I need to leave. He like, was, was literally like, messaging us, bro. And he's like, yo, I just smoked weed with this bitch, bro. I think, I think she's a demon. I think she's trying to kill me. And we're just like... Bro, bro like you're good. Funny. Like you're just high. You're tripping. He's like, yeah. no, bro. I think she's trying to kill me. And we're like, bro, I like, was to, I was what scared, the bro. I was genuinely fuck? scared. I'm know. like, yo, how ugly was this bitch for you to think that? I like, <laughs> I don't know if her face fucking looked demonized at the moment, and I was like tripping after that. Hey, you want no crazy fucking shit for real on some bruja shit? One time when I was a uh, uh, partying out in Vegas, um, I was with like I was doing like this event thing, and I had a friend, a buddy of mine. So, like, as I was going through the crowd, my friend took a picture of, like, the whole, like, the whole scene or whatever. Yeah. And she's like, oh, look, I took a picture. And I was there. Like, you could see me. Mm. And, bro, there was, like, it was super, like, dark because it was, like, a club. And, bro, there was one face that was, like, super, like, 
Like it looked like someone just put a flashlight like right on one head. Like, like imagine a bunch of heads and just one is very clear. Uh. And that bitch was looking straight at me, bro. Like on some weird creepy shit. I was like, bitch, delete <laughs> that shit. <laughs> that shit was weird. Hey, hey, bro. I do not, hey, I do not claim this negative energy. Fuck, bro. Yeah, I I God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no man, man. Hey, did you see that? There was a one of the, like La Llorona that pulled up on. It was like recently over here in Mexico or something. Bro, I just got the shivers down my neck. Yo, that what? one. Ah, she fucking goes through like ah, one of those pranks. Yo, you know, that one. Pranks be going too far, bro. So yo, like, so I see crazy. this dude's talking about that shit, right? Huh? Going back to the Philippines guy. I haven't heard this one. No, I haven't. What do I have in it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that theory. No. What is it? Nah, bro. So <laughs> I was one day scrolling through TikTok, and it's this video of this of this guy who's running through fucking like this ejido in Mexico, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's like the Yorona. He's like running, and like she passes. You can clearly see her like three times, and you can hear her screaming and shit. So I'm seeing that shit, and I'm like, yo, that looks terrifying as fuck. Fast forward like two weeks later, this dude's like, yo, the homie. I'm not gonna say his name. He's like, yo, the homie's like cousin died or whatever in fucking you know Mexico. I'm like, yo, what? Bro, he died from a fucking heart attack. He supposedly mm. saw the, you know, the Yorona. This is the fucking... And look, it was that a, video? He's, and I'm like, bro, I just saw a video on TikTok and I, I showed it to him. I'm, he's like, bro, that's the fucking video. I was like, no way, dude. You should play it. Play it on the YouTube while it's yo, on YouTube. Well, you guys gotta send it to me. I, I can put the clip up. Yo, I'm gonna send it. It's yeah, fucking it it crazy, yeah. bro. Boy, that'd be funny. That'd be, yeah, just It'd be good for the... Yeah, it's it's good for the clips. on a man, my bad. <laughs> It's fucking oh, terrifying, bro. Like when you hear it and you see it, bro. Like it actually—it is kind of weird, bro. Like it's so, the guy's running, bro, bro. and it, like, you can see the camera, like while he's fucking running, and on the left you see a, like a girl in a white dress coming towards him. Mm-hmm. And this was running and down the street again to the right. Bitch pulls out again, keeps running. This was hauling ass, bro. Every single time, like down the road, and it, it was like three road, times, like, bro. A village type road. Every single time she pops up, bro, she like just if kept she's coming walking, up. Like she does like Jason. Or what's that one motherfucker that pulls up on her nose? Yeah, he's like walking, but he somehow gets ahead yeah, of them. Yeah, that shit, bro. That's was, how like, she was, bro. And then, so I had a friend of mine's cousin who was like supposedly that guy. And passed away from that? Mm-hmm, had a heart attack. Yeah, yeah bro. Must have a heart attack right now. Dude, that's it's Probably fucking outside. it's fucking <laughs> <right>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dude. Just like two fucking streets down, it's just yeah, like yeah, open dirt, bro. That shit, no. <laughs> so I do, I do not done, claim any of these. Claim this I do not claim these taxes. <laughs> I've been seeing that one on TikTok now. No. <laughs> <laughs> I see a scary video and then I go on the comments and that chick takes the fucking frightness away right away, bro. It does, uh, All I see is I do not claim these taxes and I'm like, oh, <laughs> yo, this is not even scary that's no more, tell, bro. Just like a, just a, like a feeling of like, oh, it's like, <laughs> yo, 100%. Yes or no, bro? Have you not seen a scary movie and then gone to watch a fucking comedy right after when you were? You know, I don't know, but I can't always. Watch, hey, I can't. Always. I can't watch I, scary yeah, I movies by myself. Time, I would never do that. You're a psycho. If you no, know, yeah, you're dude, a psycho, bro. bro. When he first got the Tesla, you movies by yourself. You're a psycho. When he first got the Tesla, first thing I told him to do was like, "Yo, drive through a cemetery, bro." I know what's wrong with that. Oh, with the 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 people like fucking where? Yeah, because it apparently it it detects like like people and like yeah, Yeah. it detects living like people. It detects fucking cars and shit around. So I was like, "Yo, just drive this, dude." He was so fucking terrified. Have you done it? Did you do it? We did it. Yeah, we did it. We definitely did it. Nothing happened, but he was terrified the whole way. Weird, bro. Yeah, the fuck ain't done it. My friends, they did. Hey, fuck around and see what happens. That's what it is. Oh my god. The more you do it, the more. Look. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, if you go looking for it, it'll find you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's Thanks, bro. badass, bro. And that's in anything in life. And that's what I mean. Like, if you want to make it, you'll make it. If you yeah, don't, don't you go won't. through my phone. You're gonna find something you don't want to see. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you heard that, Becky? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, bitch. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, who's Becky? My phone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that'd be funny, bro. <laughs> hey, what's up with everybody cheating, bro? You see, dude. Tell me, <laughs> tell me, hey, what's up with everybody cheating? No, hey, it's the tw- it's 2022. Tell me, so we 2022, bro. bro. It sucks when everybody just makes it like, eh, it's funny. Like no one gives a fuck. Tell me the, the video, dude. You know you fucked no up when the dude's like. Y'all dating? <laughs> the one that at the mall? <laughs> no. How long y'all been dating for? You haven't seen that guy? No. no. Bro, he walks up to couples. Like, imagine, like, you know, Caesar or you, like, you guys been, you know, he's been dating? Yeah. How long? Five years. Y'all trust each other? Yeah, like they have no choice but to like go through it. Then they're like, you want to swap each other's phones for five minutes, and then they're like fifty bucks. It's like that like, one chick in Mexicali. Yeah, bro. And so they'll like he causes breakups on the spot because everybody, everybody records is doing Dude, crazy it's, shit. It's fucking nuts, bro. That lady was tripping on. That lady was funny. That lady was, bro. She still does her videos, and she's she is pretty sexy. fine. I'm not gonna lie. What is this? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> there's there's <laughs> so there's this one chick that started that, bro, and she's she started out in Mexicali, I think. Nice. Well, watch Mexican news, and she literally yeah, watch just the, the weather, bro. Sh- the is best. she on that? 
Is that who? Probably. No, probably. but like a better version, probably. Dude, like, Damn. Money. But Have you seen the but she uh, she would just going up to people at restaurants, bro. Like imagine just you you go to Mexicali one day with your girl. You're like fuck it, like I'm trying to go to Mexicali, have tacos. some fucking tacos and shit. Get you know, some eat some some fucking shrimp cocktail and shit. And then you see this random chick with like three fucking cameras come up to you, like, "Hola, cómo están, amigos?" Like, uh, you know, "Cómo se llama?" You know, it's like, yeah, "Fuck!" It's like, you know, at that point, bro, you should be that? shitting fucking bricks if you hear that. Just first of all, because like right after that, all you're gonna Some hear of them is are like, "Like, no, 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 no." No, yeah, but they most know. of them, they yeah, see they already know, bro. They see that booty come around it's, the corner, like, "No, nah. yeah," because the first thing she asks is like, "How long y'all been together, bro?" Like, "How long y'all been together?" And it's like, "Oh, you know, that's a very long time." It's, you know, would you bro, guys mind? You know, you she, trust each other. You love each other. She bro. pull up on a cartel member, bro. Oh my god! There was this one dude that she pulled up on one time in a video, and the dude was like, you could tell he was cartel straight up. He was not leaving her alone. She had to get like security and people to escort her to a car. Motherfucker was not leaving her alone, bro. He was not. He didn't give a fuck how many cameras there were. Like he did not give a fuck, bro. I love people like that, bro. <laughs> Like, I'll kill you pe- on live camera. I love some when people, people don't mind when cameras real, are around, just not when it like involves my life. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, real life, cool as fuck. Like when you think about it, bro, you're like, damn, humans are fucking rad. Like there's some people that Yo. are really living life like to the whatever max they want to live in. It's like, damn, that's dope. You set the bar, boy. Yeah, just get yeah. it. I don't <laughs> know. Like for real, bro. Cartel cool. people definitely live in another damn, bar. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't bring that fucking blue head. Oh, come on, I'm running the negative vibes out. I'm trying to call no one out. <laughs> was like, yeah, but again, I'm like, damn, bro, relax. <laughs> <laughs> huh. But, uh, no, nah, man, we've been going for a minute. I just want to end with one more thing, and it goes back to NFTs, but I want to I wanna make a stop on the pod NFT. How do I get that? And um, I'm talking, like, for real, for real. And um, as well as other people have this. Number one, as Open long C, as you make the art, bro, that's, a, that's a, the hardest part is making the art. Okay, a graphics. Yep. I feel so like literally all part. you got to do is three steps. Make a MetaMask. With the MetaMask, you have an open seed. That's the marketplace. That's where you sell your shit. The MetaMask gives you access to your account. And then you make the art or have Eric make it or somebody or pay someone to make a cool, like, slob on the pod fucking looking logo or character. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and then from that, you just upload it. You just literally, it's like uploading a Facebook picture. You just upload it to the blockchain. You pay a fee and you have an NFT. And then what you do is you go on your fucking TikTok, your social media, and it's like, hey guys, I made a nft it's 500 bucks if you guys want to get it go for it bye and then you have an nft and and how do i know like how many to start out like do i make a hundred or make a thousand mm, like that's up to you um what's like yeah. a good number like to start with like for my very first one like how many do i make depends on what you want to do with them like what do you want to do with it i guess that depends on the roadmap right you don't need it. Okay, a so the so time. then I would I would turn it into like you gotta talk about the you, roadmap because it needs to have a roadmap. So like, it wouldn't it be if like so one. if you bought this if you bought this so you know, then you, know you have access to like free merch merch that's or, a good or one. that's how you can you can be a to. guest on the podcast like yeah, if it gets to that point where it gets like yeah yeah like if you can't offer a two hundred million dollar yacht party obviously like you can offer something the else merch is cool you know what I mean like merch is a cool idea so you can make. Even, like, the things I'm getting, like, with ideas is, like, like these little characters. Yeah. Like, imagine having, like, someone make, like, a little fucking, like, a little Bobblehead version of NFT you. Or yeah, me. like, oh. well, you're the you're the guy or, like, whatever logo you I have. I still need to get an SD. And so it would be, like, this character is, like, the slob award or whatever. And it could um, be, like, a guy. Imagine a dude with a fucking computer and a handkerchief because he's going to watch porn. Like, it's funny. Like, you can oh. make it, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you can make slobs. You can even yeah. call your NFT collection slobs. Bro, for real. I don't know. And it. you can yeah, make people true. that are, like, Slobbing. for real. Not for real. No, like, seriously, that's, bro. You should probably go home and... That should be a name for it, bro. You mean stay here? <laughs> I, I honestly, I honestly <laughs> no, for don't know what slobs... slobs. Oh, dude, that would be such a hit. Yeah. And you can make them, like, in different poses where they're... One's fucking on a couch, fucking smoking weed, like, just... One's just, on, a, on the set. Yeah, like, yeah. so it's different moments in time, and they that art represents your brand. And then, then you say, like, hey, guys, you buy this for 300 bucks, 100 bucks. It gives you access to 50% off my store, and with the funds I get from this fucking... NFT. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make the store, and this is the merch I'm coming out with. And you know, I'm gonna travel to Minneapolis because I'm gonna go to a comedy show, and I'm gonna pick three people that own my shit to go with me. Shit like that. Like there you, you go. You can do yeah, whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can have. You is can that do part of the roadmap? It, it's up to yeah, you. Yeah, honestly, 100. You, you decide the roadmap. Yeah, nice. it's whatever brand. Like you can make it as long want. as you want. And see the the thing about like how many you want to release that that's the Slot beauty of it, bro. For real. Is like, like that would be. 
perfect. hundred percent. I think that's dope, bro. Like slobs, and it, that's the beauty of it. Is like depending that on how many like you want. Too, bro. You there's so many different shit. things you could do. It's like he's saying you can have one fucking holding a fucking like a handkerchief with a fucking a Jergens bottle in another. Yeah, you can have funny, one fucking bro. you know what I mean smoking a blunt in another. The thing is, is that there's so many possibilities as you can have one simple character remade into thousands of many different variations well that's why there's like the colors. apes and there's one with like the fucking tr- like looks like a transformer there's one yeah, that's like an alien but they're exactly. all like apes with like but different they're all the costumes. same yeah, yeah bro, so that's the beauty of it is that the amount that you want to release ultimately is up to you bro like that's that that comes down yeah, to, how, up to you. how much you want to make so, like the biggest thing though with selling nfts i think it's so like you'd probably see more success like making a hundred Mm-hmm. And then starting off with that so that you can understand and get used to, like, the technology and how you buy them, how you flip them, whatever you got to do. Use it. Okay. Yeah, because if you, if you, like, for me, it cost me, like, seven to 10000 to drop a collection of 4000 4, It's a, oh, okay, so it's okay. a little bit of money. Yeah. And so, like, for, but you can do 100 and it'll cost you maybe $1,000. Okay. And you can sell them for 300 each. You're making, like, 30 racks. Make profit off that, mm-hmm. yeah. And as long as you're giving, like, you know, the juice for it, like, pe- and you can talk about it. See, that's what I would do, too. Like, once you have that, be like, hey, guys, don't forget, I have my NFT, blah, 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 blah. Like I feel like that was the biggest so, thing that made you sell out was talking about it on TikTok, Yeah, and then going especially. on live and be like, hey, guys, I'm a fucking slob. You could even make that a thing, bro. Like, yeah. slob just sounds like a cool, that sounds like a brand in itself, like a whole movement. Like, and that sounds like a hashtag in itself. Like, bro, the like, slob. Bro, like, I'm a slob. I don't give a fuck. Like, his t- like, his hashtag itself fuck. on TikTok, how much does it have? Like, over fucking how many million I views? Two point People three. that use it or what? The yeah. Hashtag has yeah. 2. My million. hashtag that alone has, like, over 2.8 2. or What's like your 1. Point, just What's Dapper your? After Dark. Just Here's hashtag Dick Dapper After Dark. <laughs> Dick dapper da- the dick, dig <laughs> the fucking curve, the backbreaker, <laughs> dig dapper, dapper dick, the the digger, dig dapper dick. You should make NFTs dapper dick, and there's be like a, a cock with like my a buddy, suit, bro, and then like a Hawaiian bro, outfit, bro, like. Bro. Oh but my for god, real, like bro. I think if you made an NFT collection, call it the slobs, make it funny, make it like even when even that even extends to the branding of your website. Even when you make the website, make it look like a fucking fifth grader is typing that shit out and doesn't give a fuck, and make the text look like a fucking sloppy ass person is writing it. Yeah. Because it goes all with, like, the brand aesthetic. And it's like, this is actually branded pretty good. Eric would understand perfectly on how to brand everything together. If you tell him the idea, I'm sure he would compose a whole ass, like, uh, I forgot what they call it. They're, like, um, promo sets where you get your logo, you get what a shirt would look like, you get what a hat would look oh, like. Okay. So it's, like, a whole package of, like, this is the brand. Yeah. And I look into that, The yeah. font is. And, and that I think you would kill it like that for real. And I think that would bring in more people actually to the podcast because people would be like, I fuck with the merch. Like, that shit's cool as fuck or the hats are dope. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, that'd, that'd be sick as fuck. Like, even like a hat with the S on it for fucking slobs. And I, I definitely think like, even like people that fuck with you, like, you can call them slobs. Like, that's their... That'd oh, be like a cool like little... Crew. For your community. Yeah, the community. community. Yeah, community. like, oh, you're a slob. Uh-huh. What the slob? Oh, this is, this is what we do, bro. We don't give a fuck and blah, blah. That's fucking, yeah. yeah. That's dope as fuck. Later yeah, on, you could even sick, have bro. stickers like this, dude. Like, he has, like, little cannibal stickers that he has, and he has he's putting them everywhere. Like, that's, like, a way you can identify people, like, here locally. Yeah. Like, fuck, like, that's a slob. He's got the fucking sticker, like, the fucking NFT QR code on his car or some shit, you know So, what like, I mean? my homie, I just dropped a collection for my homie. His name is The High Indian on uh, TikTok. Mm-hmm. And so I made pretty much 420 high Indians. So they're just Indians that are fucking meditating. Mm -hmm. And they're like, some of them got bongs, some of them got blunts, like in their mouth and shit. And they're just, they're him personified as an NFT. Okay. This motherfucker's made 40 racks already in today, today, just 24 hours. God. We dropped that shit in the morning. And how long does that process take to the point from beginning to dropping? It, but it depends because he so I say I make it sound easy because it's like oh shit he's making a lot of money you really but do. he has one hundred and twenty thousand <laughs> followers on TikTok and he's built a brand for himself yeah. so uh, this he is established this himself. is this is the honestly like this is the ultimate secret to making a lot of money like I feel like in anything and, anything. and I feel like nobody really talks about it. making yourself into a brand and then selling whatever your brand is is like wildfire. That's so, like, if I you were to develop TikTok yourself... is the best thing ever. Yes, bro. If you were to, to develop yourself as a brand with, like, the slobs and you just make that... Like, I feel like people would gravitate like they do to the Nelk Boys. Like, oh, that's the Nelk Boys, but I want to be a slob. I want to be with this this type of... I love this energy. I love this community. I like what the fuck this represents. Yeah. And so, that's how you build up that shit. And once you've built up... That's why it's true. TikTok is really good for that. Because you just build up that brand equity 
and then you're like, hey, guys, I have an NFT of 2,000 that I'm dropping next week. I, and then imagine you got 100,000 followers, 2% of them buy. That shit sells out your whole thing, and you made 50 racks in one day. Like, that's really kind of like, in a sense, what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Because, like, for me, I built up Alan the NFT guy brand, and I was like, hey, guys, I'm an artist. I've been a graphic designer for eight years. Eric would be perfect for this, too. That's, that's what I did. I was like, I built up my TikTok. I was like, hey, guys, I draw. These are my NFTs. Like, if you guys fuck with it, you fuck with me. Like, you know. Certain artwork pieces and shit. Bro, if fucking. Well, like with him, like certain I, artwork pieces or something, like he could. Who? Or Eric. Like, bro, well, everything. He's a graphic designer. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, he did. His, his, his art pieces alone and NF, as NFTs would fucking do good. Oh, he but would not, kill it. Dude, he would kill it on TikTok, too, bro. Like, yeah, if, he's such if, a good creator. With I Eric, feel like he's Eric so underrated. If Eric were on fucking TikTok, bro, their content, like, they'd instantly have, like, at least 50K real, plus bro. followers, bro. They're if so they were on TikTok, bro. they're super underrated, bro. Uh, and I and it's they're because they're creators. super busy already doing like all these crazy gigs. But I know for a fact if they just like focus just a little bit more on their content creation on TikTok, they'd instantly no, like they would definitely hit bro the because their content course. is already next level, bro. And if they just reach that just that audience that they need for that one video to fucking just skyrocket, yeah, their bro. Content's good. They, bro, they I'm telling you, if back. they fucking invested in TikTok, bro, they'd. Are they'd be fucking A list celebrities all the Even fucking you, bro. time, bro? Go crazy on TikTok, like I'm, post a shit I'm ton telling of video you, bro. snippets. Yeah, well, well, that's what you see all these TikTok creators doing, bro. Like they reach fucking millions of followers, and then or like even just fucking 50k followers, and the first thing they do is let me drop my merch line. You know what I mean? Like that's ultimately yeah. what all these people do is they get all these followers, right? For whatever it is they do, whether it's thirst traps, whether it's for fucking playing ping pong whether it's nfts whether it's fucking mm-hmm. for being fashion influencer and then they build all that fucking hype up to influence to um, ultimately launch whatever it is they want to do if they're a fucking gym rat they're going to launch their gym line if they're a fashion influencer here's my clothing line if they're an nft artist this is my clothing line if they're a fucking artist this is the fucking paintings that i'm going to be doing for you guys to buy you know here's the link in my bio that's ultimately what tiktok is bro and people don't utilize it enough it's the yeah. best marketing platform out there bro i like swear you should to definitely god do it. and you're already doing the videos so all you got to do is like whenever something's funny in the podcast cut it up 10 second video when she says don't do this post it don't even think about it forget about it and post like five little 10 second 30 second clips a day we well, already marked the spot when we fucking find that link tree in your tiktok yeah it's a good tiktok right there yeah <laughs> you know i mean like that's that all that that so you have so much content just in one episode you literally have like 40 videos in one episode if you were to true. cut god it up damn it <laughs> bro it's i'm fucking lazy that's why i can't preach all the shit to you. <laughs> fuck, i fucking knew it that's fuck, the whole point fuck, of getting man. you guys <laughs> got him got him oh, okay <laughs> yeah, got him. It. Okay. all right guys thanks for tuning in <laughs> <laughs> later bitches <laughs> <laughs> but no nah, man um I, I, like legit going back to the whole starting you start they won't understand floor. if they don't watch the whole episode yeah exactly yeah, you gotta watch the whole thing they're gonna be like what the fuck are they talking about Still on the floor fuck it you're supposed to hit the floor in the fuck fucking it. it's family. a slob on the fucking pot the anyway fuck out of here fuck, let's, man. Let's light this fi- i had a firework in here somewhere oh i fucking hit it <laughs> i had fuck. a firework we in like blunts in here like yeah the firework in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you leave your seat you lose <laughs> but no yeah so going back to the whole like starting nft things like i'm being like serious like a lot of people that was like their main question was uh you know like how, like how do like most of them i guess that have an idea what nfts were like how would i get my own start because it seems like it's what a lot of people were doing like i just dropped the nft whatever but no yeah like i after this after this episode next few days like i'm definitely going to contact you like there's something like i like you said it's something that i need to jump on now luckily like you said it's been a, a couple years now that th- this has been a thing but I'm not like it's still pretty early in, in the phase where I'm not like oh like I, I'm, yeah, I'm way behind late. like so yeah. many people are doing it already like I nah, bro, no I'm sweet. still I'm still we're still like we got we still caught it at a good time so even everyone listening if you made it this far then you're fucking welcome so when you start making racks and be like, stacks of cash shit. yeah you got to give us like honestly one percent or two or three yeah you know? uh, but um no nah, man uh, we've been going a long time we got to end this because fucking it's just. <laughs> We could talk for we'll be days. All fucking night. We're gonna have part bro. two, three, four, five, all this shit. But uh, when you make a when you make your NFT collection, I'll pull up again and then we can talk about it. Oh, I gotta wait that long? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do, do it, bro. Remember, apparently, <laughs> <laughs> it takes a minute. Right? <laughs> no, it doesn't, bro. You can do that shit <laughs> and tomorrow. It's easy. <laughs> Yo, everything's easy for this guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy, it is easy, bro. Literally, it takes like five seconds to download a MetaMask. Like, how long did it take to make yours? 
Uh, oh, you guys have a little collab, right? Di- we no, did at first. We, I did one of him. The homies one, yeah. Oh, well, well, we did, did the Boxer, the Turtles one, too. But how long did it take you? I mean, the MetaMask took a little bit. For some reason, though, my browser wasn't getting the MetaMask, but besides that. how long that, did it take you, like, literally? Actually setting up, like, five minutes. And how long were we talking about getting one set up? Like, fucking three months, and then it uh, took five minutes. It's always boys. like that. Yeah, it's always like that. It was like, yeah, we See, were talking. one of those things that, that's why Nike's got the best slogan in the world, and it's just do it. <laughs> just fucking do it. That's it. There's like, no secret. Yeah, and not, I tell that to lie. people, too. Like, we're like, how do you make money, bro? Just do it. Like, I know it sounds like, like, what do you mean just do it? Like, motherfucker, get off your ass and try to figure it out. Like, that's the honest answer. Like, nobody wants true. to hear that. It's like... Nah, bro. Uh, and it like, sucks, what's but the secret, motherfucker? What's the there shortcut? Ain't, there ain't yeah. no fucking secret. You gotta. You want to lose weight? Go to the fucking gym and eat right. You want to exactly. make money? Get a fucking job and figure it out. Get better at your skills, and so you get better. You want to do good podcasts? Make a shit ton of podcasts. Fuck up a shit ton of times, and so you figure it out. You want to be good at NFTs? Fucking start. That's it. Like there is no secret. You yeah, know what I mean, it's it's pretty much yeah. It's pretty fucking in plain sight. Yeah, it is. Then pretty then much. That's like where we all fuck up. We're like, uh, like even for me, like I'm like. Oh, I want the secret. Like, we over- there ain't no secret. Yeah, you're either lazy or you overthink things. Yeah, yes. It's either you're like, that's too much work. I'm for sure an overthink. There's no way though. I can do that. I'm too stupid to learn all stuff. And then there's also like, there's and there's people that are like, well, what's the secret? Like, there's there's really no secret. It's just, just one, don't be lazy. And two, just, just yeah. start. Just, just pull, start. Just pull, pull yeah, yeah, just fucking do it. And then that's how it goes. My friend has a, it's funny because uh, one of our friends has a joke. Um, and then we won't have to keep this too long. But one of my friends as a joke would when we're drinking and she doesn't want to drink a, like a nasty ass shot. Mm. So just say, don't think, just do. Like as a like, fuck, I just fucking don't think about it. Just fucking do it. Yeah. And bro, I remember listening to that shit. And I was like, that's actually kind of good advice. And yeah. so sometimes when I'm like scared of something or like I'm thinking about it, bitch, dale la verga, just go for it. I'm like, yeah. Right, fuck it. Exactly. And I'm like, all right, go. Like that's like, it switches the, the perspective. It really does. Yeah. When, it, when you put it that way. Yeah. But no, thank you. We have Alan, Alan. We got Cesar Caesar. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, what's your Instagram? Instagram, uh, TikTok, anything Alan you want to put up? The NFT guy. All right, I'll, I'll put everything out right here. I'll put yeah. your profile. I'll put your. What, 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 do you got like TikTok Alan. as well? <laughs> yeah. So all my social medias are Alan the NFT guy on Instagram, TikTok. So it's all the same everywhere. Yeah, Twitter, Pornhub. Right. Hey. <laughs> You got that star account, the uh, premium. I'm gonna start doing that. Pornhub premium. That that Pornhub idea for the videos. Was, you have good ideas, bro. To do them, like for real. I'm getting mad. I'm Honest. like, bro, these are all great. And I'm like, sorry. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna start them next week. I'm like, dude, let's start it today. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna no, no see you guys leave. Real. Do it. But yeah, uh, and ideas. then what about you? What's your socials? Uh, Dapper after dark, bro. On, on, everything. on everything. On everything. TikTok. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook, yeah. Twitter. Only only after dark on OnlyFans with the one. Hey. Uh, <laughs> only fans only after dark. <laughs> <laughs> haven't posted yet though. Nah. Nice. Well fucking thank you guys again for coming out here. I know you That's had fun. some shit going on. You made it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for coming all the way out. Um I really hope we get to do this again. I know there's so there's so many more things on my notes that I want to c- cover, but we I love this episode. It was really good. Everything went perfect. So many things you just continued into your conversation that I had questions for. You just answered them for me. How you got started um how you did your research all that stuff you just flew flew into it perfectly so but there's so many more things we could talk about i want to talk more about fashion how i really want to talk about that stuff that's a big thing i i love like clothes i love like looking good like all the stuff you have that um you're very comfortable with what you wear obviously you get a lot of hate but you're you're also get that i have that as well where i'm just like i don't give a fuck yeah. i feel comfortable i know i look good obviously my girl thinks i look good it's all that fucking matters 100 percent. but um thank you guys for coming out um like i said i hope we get to do this again and uh i think that's it yes sir all right. hi boys all right, all right yeah. appreciate it <laughs>